Welcome to the Paisa podcast by Nepali Paisa. The show is powered by Smart Wealth Pro. If you're a trader or an investor like me in Nepal stock market, Smart Wealth Pro provides you all the tools that you require to analyze companies listed in Nepal stock market. In fact, when you start out, they even provide you one week's free trial. So go out and try it. This series is called Stock Market Investor Series. Welcome to the Paisa Podcast. As a Hamisa Hununsa, Grace Rounier. Grace is an individual investor who manages money for a family. And Grace is also the co founder of a platform called Investing with Grace. Grace, welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much. I'm humbled to be here. Yeah. I think I had established connection with you, Paila. I had seen your page called Investing with Grace. I had seen your page called Investing with Grace. And I think this was COVID ko bilama when you were more yes. active with the face. I reached out to you saying that, you know, there are people I would want to connect you with. And he, I wanted to meet you right then. Mm-hmm. That, you know, you, you just get busy with your life yeah. and a lot yeah. of things. And I could never just, and that just happened to be one and a half years later through this podcast, I guess. Absolutely. Yes. And anyways, better late than never. And it's a pleasure to have you here. Grace. Thank you so much. I'm really Looking forward to this very insightful conversation with you. Okay. So where I want to start with is how did you get into investing? You feel me cost it like you? Um, it started on with early manifestation, I I believe so. Because um, even before my family came into investing, we were into the garment circle. And that's when I started my education at Apex with banking and insurance. So not many people know that that I actually did my banking and insurance in bachelor's yeah. business administration Correct. from Apex which also gives you an insight to the Rashtra Bank, the management, the framework, commercial banks in Nepal, institutions in Nepal, financial institutions in Nepal, Correct. basically. So that this was um, completed in 2012-13, roughly. Correct. So that's when I was already making my basis in this field, not knowing I would actually advance into here. Correct. Um, 2011, midway to my bachelor's is when my father came into this investing circle. Okay. Um, he hopped in from one field, one sector to the na- na- the, to another Correct. amidst uh, chaos with uh, the political situation. Yeah. So garment industry is a really hit path here. Correct. So this pochi jai, post um, that is when we came into the field. Yeah. That's when we started collaborating in terms of what exactly are the parameters to look into an economics of the market or what exactly goes on in the market it's a new field for us altogether yeah so even he started reading books that i was reading you know <laughs> so yeah yeah so he the did two of you learned together <laughs> <laughs> it was almost simultaneous he was like give me the book on rashtra bank i was like okay this is the book on rashtra bank so something like you know ccd yeah you ratios aru yeah the act whole act of basil you know you i studied back then yeah not knowing what i was getting into i wasn't very eager about it either i'll be blunt honest yes. but yeah that happened Turns out, few years later, here I am in the market. This is how it went. Yeah. Um, actively investor participation in the market started after my master's. I did my master's in UK. Yeah, I saw that in your profile. Yeah. So whilst I was in the UK, what I also did, um, I think as a part of my collective um, education background, Poila, yes. was uh, I went to do London Stock Exchange as well a few times. Nice. I wanted to see the office physical. More than what goes behind, yeah. I wanted to see the office itself. It was fascinating. A, B, it was scary. Right. It was huge. Um, there were things like portfolio managers on the floor who was like constantly on calls, taking international calls, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and it was too advanced for me. Yes, it, it, I will be honest. It was too advanced for me to even catch up to what is happening because the operations go on to very wee, wee hours, late hours. Correct. It's random calls. A lot of pressure. So investment banking was when um, I understood, oh, okay, this is what is happening here. Yeah. So that's when uh, I started getting conscious about this market, international market. Other. Nepal market, I was aware earlier, right? uh. uh, because I did go into broker's office back in 2011, 12, my father went. Because of his yeah. father, yeah. So, but then there was an outcry system. You were, right? Uh? Yeah, yeah. So what would happen is, you Nepal, I'm not going to go to Nepal, I'm not going to go to Nepal. Broker office, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah. 
सो यू नो यू क्राई आउट ऑफ द विंडो एंड देन टेल देम त्या बड़ा कि यू ए उटा मात्र कंप्यूटर होते हैं वेयर इज अ गाय एट द कंप्यूटर है ना एंड ही इज पंचिंग इन द ऑर्डर्स राइट या एंड यू एक्चुअली हैड टू राइट डाउन द ऑर्डर इन अ स्लिप एंड देन गिव इट टू देम एज अ फिजिकल कॉपी सो दैट वुड हैपन um tyo bhaye pachi this only changed uh, like pre covid pre covid you right, know oh. um covid ko bela ma not in pre covid yeah. yeah so covid ko bela ma bhanda ni covid ko 6 mahina agadi yeah. this was on test right tms was on test absolutely yeah. i thought it was on test only ke yeah. the demo mai matra thyo actually pre covid pani you know what we used to do we used to actually write our orders for the broker and viber ma we yeah, used to yeah, send yeah, it to the broker yeah, yeah. viber groups are yeah that's even valid for now oil pani is hoge that's that's yeah. actually the change we're still going through <coughs> it correct, correct. probably towards the end of the change you know people are adapting yes. so uh, it's there correct. so coming back to my active investing was after 2016 i came back in 2016 post earthquake earthquake yeah. was a call yes. earthquake was a very b- big reminder for me personally yeah. i was like no um this is not happening my country needs me whatever it is hola tyo bhanda kam scope hola but we'll do something on our own bhanda i came back correct Um after coming back I came into the investing circle. Yes. So my father did me did me a good mentorship ko kaam se wale mala gor din bhao. Oh. Uh with fundamentals he held my hand he walked me through it yeah. with networks he let me um access to all networks Correct. makes me understand what is going on in the back office. Correct. Because he knew I had to handle the back office for him and for everything else too. So yeah. that happened. Back office bani ko the order execution and those order kind of execution, things. Order execution, the accounting after whatever the transaction is done. Aza. So how you maintain the books, how you go by um, dividends, large accounts or accumulated stocks or handle go the hari. There's a different process to it. Correct. All together. Yes. It's not like you trade, you've earned so much and that's the end of it. No, yeah. it's not that. Yes. It has to be more than that. You Correct. have to have an accounting book. Yes. You have to have a network that you need to maintain. Correct. You have to have also processes that will come to later you know correct process of how do you identify or a lot of things correct. that's a lot of work actually yes. here that repo it is easy they can so in a bull market yes the bear market you have to survive <laughs> which which actually lasts for a longer time period exactly yeah. so that is an understanding that he gave me then any more market share that here go romailo instance say um when i entered the market the market was roughly at 1400 eh yeah 13 1400 Three four weeks ago, soccer man, it went up to eighteen hundred eighty eight. Yeah, and I was like, wow, everything I touch has turned into a gold. And then this could be up to fifty dollars. Of course, yes. So the same I had argued. Upon the same I had argued, and then this was she on that. That third same I had argued. This was she pay regard to what others were. So that was a learning period for me. That's how I got into investing. Correct. So before that, just quickly before that, what happened was I made one mistake. I made a huge mistake. Malai tha the na ki technicals or fundamentals ko difference or say I was not introduced to it. Yes. I was I was layman. I did yeah, know. Yeah. I think start with the subjects and this thing okay because yeah I mean I think investing ma there are people who are in this field for 40 50 years or so say you know mm-hmm. and then they still say that oily pani I make this mistake there's a very fine investor in India I think with 30 40 years to bhai sakya cha la his name is Bharat Chha na. Okay. अनि उसको एउटा इन्टरभ्यु मैले हेरेको थिएँ उसले के भन्छ भने आई स्टिल मेक दिज मिस्टेक्स किनभने जस्ट बिकज आई हेभ स्टेड इन द मार्केट दैट डजन्ट मिन मेरो बिहेवियर चेन्जेस के सो अनि अन टप अफ दैट इट्स अ लर्निंग एक्सपिरियन्स एज वेल राइट बिकज यू सडनली यू सडनली सी अ डिफरेन्ट साइड अफ द मार्केट दैट यू हेड नेभर सीन बिफोर होइन अनि द मार्केट रियाक्ट्स इन अ भेरी डिफरेन्ट वे यू रियाक्ट इन अ भेरी डिफरेन्ट वे राइट अनि योर रियाक्सन कुड बी कम्प्लिटली रङ So I think the market match I think it's an evolution process in terms of learning it and is. adapting correct Also that um in so what I would like to add to that exactly yeah. is you actually cannot be very critical on yourself yeah having to learn that you know you've made a certain mistake you can't actually detach from the market yeah, itself people absolutely. do that a lot people they do that yeah yeah that's I, human nature I've actually seen um I think it was Ambika Powell I think mm-hmm. yeah no? where i've seen one of his clips i don't watch too many of these clips and but i've seen one of his clips where he said that he entered the market at around 2000 or just early 2007 8 ko bull mm-hmm. market okay tyo banda pehla he entered the market he did well bull market my everyone does well everyone. so you gather confidence and you borrow money from your friends and family mm-hmm. and you sane put yeah. that money okay yeah. so unfortunately what happens is bull market peak bhai sa kya hunsa so you start losing money yeah na? yeah lose got there obviously most of the people they get discouraged and then they leave the market so he says that my only mistake is i left the market at that point of time okay and then later on when i came back 
obviously I made good money and everything and then I realized that maybe to beat some other people up with a guma code multi people I shouldn't have lost hope from a little not so no pony racer I should have continued to be in the market on e I would have learned much more when you're one of the one things I think it's the same thing that you're trying to say it, it is it is because what happens is then you're not mm. actually applying the formula of compounding yes if you leave the market you leave exit the market yes it's not like you're leaving the stock and just you know not looking at it, it doesn't happen yeah. it obviously pulls you back thought uh, when you exit the market you've actually also a booked a loss yeah that's booked there, a loss right? yeah. and you've taken the hit and you're actually expecting your your human nature yes to adjust to it digest it and come back with a profit that's not going to happen absolutely you have to learn through the process correct you have to stand through the process so hard times ones only yes hard times when challenges are opportunities yes you have to look at like that but the point is teti belago bull market was a bit challenging is because the business cycle was a bit long yeah. nepal ko process was almost three to five years teti bela euta euta bull market euta bear market bull market the normal bear market would be three year, three years roughly three and a half four years is normal correct oily yeah the short the period might have shortened because of various reasons yeah we'll come back to that later but yeah that did happen and i'm sure a lot of people did that mm. that's where i guess he learned this time look yeah. at him yeah. where he's now so i think for somebody like your father i think he's been through now he's probably been to two to three three yeah cycles you yeah. know and actually that teaches you a lot okay before we move on to a lot of things right i wanted to understand like i was looking at the background and you know, uh i've listened to a few of your other podcasts as well you actually come from a family where your father he was actually running a big garment factory in yeah. nepal you know? yes and he for whatever reason per- political turmoil boy the us lay union or go like union company yeah. issue boy i think pots it your international quota are not i do i think those created problems we were not hit by the quota though uh, you weren't no because we were a special handmade garment Nepal ma chai what Nepal and Bangladesh yeah what happens is um wholesale lot garments are bonsa correct so the quantity in order comes in lakhs so there's a jeans that's to be made it comes the unit comes in lakhs correct so it's something like gar- um, gap yeah you know it's just the companies are related chai tapai lai lakhs quantity ma just say tapai walmart ma bonda hai you pick up a lot of like bulk stocks right correct, correct. so bulk orders are around here yeah hamro garments it was handmade embroidered okay. specially curated something like um S- boutique shows or man use it you know so it was not in lakhs it probably was in um tens twenties hundreds correct so that was value garment yeah so very um cream uh, sort of a market you know Ajah. so that was never hit it so, was never hit so what the fact we didn't even have a competitor nepal ma pan thena bangladesh ma pan thena The only point was hami ka chai internal problems ke bhayo ne tinta maavadi ko ra aru pani union bhayo and they were fighting against each other not even with us e eh. so that happened ke telle garda kheri euta jun turmoil aayo ra um, international compliance ma chai ke huncha bhani us ko market ma chai for people who might also have an insight to you know maybe i want to get into some sort of industry or invest um, invest into some sort of entrepreneurship for industry making garment manufacturing you sabai ma correct ho bhane chai international standards on sale chai it's still a law 21 days bhitra tapai le tapai ko due delivery date bhanda um post nagera yeah. tapai le export garnu bhane you have to pay a penalty e and then 25 days 30 days ko or karko kota so it's 50% ko penalty of what you're exporting yeah. so you're not making money you're losing money there yeah and it the lockdowns aru ya ya strikes and strikes aru bonda nepal bonda there is all that carry we couldn't do that yeah so you were involved in the family business right so at the end phase of it the uh, garment factory yes okay. i was there correct so exactly roughly 8 9 months before yeah. the garment factory shut i was in the factory okay so you were involved with the garment factory for some time yes. i think this was simultaneously with the education yes right yes this was you went to uk yeah and i think when you came back you were working in an ingo right yes for right? two years for two years yes. right so what were you doing there and again like ingo but how did you manage to make that switch so ingo mamoni kaam garda kheri pani i was still doing my investing on the side i wasn't trading Correct. I was investing on the side. Okay. So I was still managing the family's portfolio partially. So how did you decide not to get back into family business and why did you decide to probably So that's a question where um when the earthquake happened I saw I could do much more in terms of my scope. 
सो यूके आई वॉज थिंकिंग इफ आई शुड गेट इन टू द यू एन और लाइक यू नो वन ऑफ डेवलपमेंट आई वॉन्ट टू एक्चुअली गो टू प्लेस विच वो मोर इफेक्टेड एंड मोर हिट मोर दिन काठमांडू बाहर गए आई वॉन्ट टू डू दैट प्रोबेबली तो मतृभूमि को अलग जागो है दैट्स वेर इट केम फ्रम प्लस आई बीन ऑल्सो प्रिटी ओके विथ लिट्रेसी सो द लिट्रेचर पार्ट अफ इट है so that's when i applied for um, senior officer in good neighbors international yes. apartment yoda angie thi south korean uh, so that happened and i got onto it thinking that maybe this is one of the things i would want to contribute to yeah. i want to develop and um, see this side of me more pandra that's yeah. how i got in correct so it was the program development side so i was doing proposals finding proposals and funnily when you're asking now it's almost like finding scripts or later it's exactly like that so you have similar filters yes. yeah if not different similar filters it's the same process that you have to go through so probably that was the process calling more than you know the whole content of it it was a process calling for me then so you could relate with that in terms of writing of the literature in this kind of, of thing ani so when did you decide that i know abu you're to go and i really want to move back to investing money right Okay so um I had a personal crisis back then yeah just um at the end of my um the job job with, uh, thing yeah and you yeah and then I moved on to the personal crisis I was handling yeah. it and then this pot hit I mainly exhilarated by that kid it's a my father was very insistent like you know that whatever goes on in your personal life is your personal life yeah. professional life I need you back yes and that's where we actually he actually held my hand is very progressive that way yes and um sat me through this whole um development of the market phase yeah that's when i went on to protests meetings <laughs> yeah. and everything you know so that's also a part of the back the personal office. growth yeah. and yeah, yeah so that's also grooming in a sense yes so i i now know where we came from where this market has come yeah. from it's not like you know i just came and read a book and then i'm here yeah so that i exactly now know what nepal market takes for us to actually be here and survive through it correct so so we'll we'll discuss a little bit about your father mm-hmm. in a while as well right because he's such an influential figure i mean even though he joined 2010 11th year market no there he's he's so active in terms of uh, you know like market at a level ma puraunu parcha and tele tyo level ma puraunu lai ke ke garnu parcha bhanda he is involved with some we'll come to that a little later on right eh? So you start out like you know you're in an NGO and uh, you you went to UK you come back you're in an NGO you get back to investing how did you get your first capital was it borrowed like is, is it some savings or yeah. s- savings or borrowings so, from your family so friends So what happened was um my father did give me a sum of money lakhs in then Yes so few lakhs I was put in my account Yeah um apparently he did um have that account in my name since i was a child yes the ipo ke share theory ke yes. shares was sunrise ko so yes. kesam apni bhanna sakcha hai sunrise ra lgil dui ta thyo correct ani it was in lakhs and then i was thinking what do i do with this should i like sell it off how do i start it and yes apart from that what happened is i had saved a bit of money um whilst in uk i was also working okay also for an ngo so it was called home home okay. so it was an orphanage and um a uh, collective ngo of two three other ngos correct so it was a social service yeah. so i had saved a bit of money i came back i invested that as well tara that happened to me as i mentioned to mo 13 14 se ma enter gare and then 18 se 78 pugyo the first stock i bought was prin nice. yeah right <laughs> yes i don't know why i bought yeah. it somebody in the office told me ki you know this is going to do like really well next week this is what we are accumulating i was like okay theek hai sa tapai ko kura sunera it was a dai in one of the brokers yeah and he was like i'll guide you through don't worry he's a technical analyst he's oh, a famous person yes. you know um wali mala bonu and then i went on to doing that i made a bit of money let me be honest i made a bit of money when i came back i again did print you know the third week got it and i didn't understand you know that's not how it works correct yes it fell 30% to tapaiko 2 3 mahina ma nai tesko price kati sakya thyo yes so teti bela print ko pani ke kura thyo bhane um i think write aune kura thyo so i was influenced and mala uchali eko cha te write ko kura ma thyo mal bujhe i didn't know that yeah. then so that's something i ha- that happened with me so that's how i got into like the these sort of uh, so this basically your savings and you basically some of the money yeah. that your father had accumulated yeah. all these years for you yes. 
you took a combination of these, put this on the market. Mm-hmm. Let's say just profit to come here, right? First two, three trades, yeah. Yeah. Good profit. But then market peak, they go up, then you listen to one of these rumors saying that yeah. it's going right down, yeah. so it's going price board, sir, and those kind of things. And suddenly you get caught on the... And I was, I'll be very blunt honest, I was not equipped for the market. Mm. I had not equipped myself. Correct. I was not prepared for the market. I, I don't know how I assumed, I acted entitled. Yeah. And I know people will shy away from it, but you know, that's yeah, my yeah. learning. That's yeah. my learning. That's my core learning. And that's how I have advanced myself now. True. Um, I thought that, you know, market the is reports on raise how one and at that period of time, I was doing my technicals, technical anal- yeah. analysis. So I did not have any filters, any parameters to what stock I'm buying, why am I choosing it? There was no logic, nothing. Yes. So literally, I layman just say, I was 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 I did know the fundamentals, yes. but I also understood that fundamentals were trading like that. I yeah. kept that separate. Correct. That is good, but <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> yes, it shouldn't be mixed. That was one thing, but you know that didn't work for me either. Correct. So, how do you identify yourself? Because you said that you do investing as well and you do trading as well. You know, first tell me like what all trainings have you taken? That's first one, right? Uh, and how do you identify yourself? Like, are you a trader or are you an investor? You know, any theory situation, ma. I've I've felt people who try to balance both they actually end up losing money both ways, right? mm-hmm. but maybe you're different and maybe you've been successful with both, right? So tell me a little bit about your stock market trainings. What all have you done and how do you identify yourself as? Okay, um, I would like to identify myself as somewhere in between. <laughs> I'll come back to that later. Yeah. I'm still trying to find a right chord to balance. Um, there's no right or wrong way about it. Yeah. Each to its own. There might be differences of opinions. There might be different values. There might be different principles, yes. beliefs altogether, or different schooling that you've come from. Right? Correct. So that's different. So it's not like I heard somebody talk and then I went and I tried and tested that idea and then I came back. It's not like that. Yes. It's also to do with what are you intending from the market? I think I've mentioned this before as well. Yeah. So whatever your expectation you have out of the market mm-hmm. or that particular script at that moment yes. is exactly the filter you need to use. It's not any, you know, sci- sci-fi science winner. Yeah. It's exactly what you want from the market. So if you want dividend stocks, you actually go into dividend stocks. You look at, you know, last year, goal, and then you also look at how is the company doing right now yeah. can it continue that yeah. so EPS sir. so there are two three indicators you have already put in not knowing that actually these are indicators yes. right so these are basic things and then there are other things like you know macro micro yes you hear that Harry that obviously builds up filter with technicals now how I've started, this is a very personal thing I've been doing, yeah. I might be wrong, yes. is, so if I know a stock fundamentally, I want to go into it, right? Eh? Yes. Uh, what we have in um, fundamentals is obviously instructive value here, right? Yeah. So your market ko pricing here, your company ko value here, and then you look at the market pricing and then the entry point here, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Now what I've started doing is, entry to exits are more technical years. Nice. With a fundamental stock. <laughs> I've done that with NICA. Okay. So NICA could say, and this was this is a very personal thing. Last three months, Agari, it was roughly around 760. Yeah. Right? We knew the turn of events and market of a Kosari Zan Sub. Very early, very pre Bull Kuzun Yoda Abbas Bathio, three months back, after yeah. just after the elections, three, four months back. So that's when I was like, no, and I see a the dividend dine, you know, in three years they accumulated that here, you know. You know? Oh. So it's under pressure. That's a special case. Yeah. But I knew the entry point for it. 70, 760 is a good phase one. I identified it uh, I d- identified it with technicals. Okay. So that's when I got in. And now when the market rest of the market has fallen off, it's still running at 810, 820, 850, yeah. or say the 850, 60 cross rise But because it's a fundamental thing for me, that's how I want to keep it long term, you would say. Yeah. So that's how I've. So like, you use you know, that combination yeah. of fundamental yeah. and technical. And right? it might be different to each case. Yes. There might be a different quotient altogether. Yes. 
you have you're the best judge yeah. when you're identifying what indicators to Correct. use and let me also be clear um dui barsha agari i redid my technicals yeah so re garda kheri cha i one thing that stayed with me was and this technicals um i did from india eh? yeah. not from here Correct. technical oh, training yeah right. technical yeah. trainings so this talk i did um the technical trainings that stayed with me the learning that stayed with me was don't over complicate yourself with too many indicators and filters oh yeah i was going to ask you that what all kun kun tool do you use don't do that just use one two three whatever relates to you whatever you understand better yeah whatever works for you for me um because i have two sets yes trading as well as investing yeah. investing ko lagi cha should do you want me to go with investing first or trading no trading much say which tools are you using okay right now so there can be um i have two three different varies of um how do i want to go about my trading yeah so sometimes i could do swing trading but okay. that is not very very like as a kapoli ne mo gordina correct so if i see a stock that's already in demand in market yes. so top 5 top 10 your losers gainers get it up ani there can be one to scripts i pick out like that okay got one. it so one of them is swing trading swing right? trading right the second i would say is price action really works for me okay. price action is something um like instinctive value in fundamentals yes. that's price action for you in technicals i'll put it like that right correct so to entry exit points are to apna pane answer um i'm trying to learn candlesticks yeah candlesticks ko like patterns are yeah that is something pretty complicated for me okay. i'm still still trying to get there someday i hope yeah. um but other than that what works really for me is volume rsi and macd that's it okay. i will not go into any other indicators yes so these are the combinations sometimes there's divergence sometimes there's indulgence you suppose so hall so that's what works for me yeah. so it can be a mix of one can be a mix of two it can be a mix of three that's there yeah. but these are the basic Correct. my go to indicators for yeah. technicals so for me personally like i don't use any technicals and so whenever i've studied technicals when i was doing cfa oh wow any that i've never used it actually and i've never used it any but uh, there's a very there's a very good investor his name is gautam b and he is written a good book as well ullikhe mm-hmm. once when he he's a fundamental investor but he does use technical analysis again for entry and exit and and he says technical analysis is nothing but you're basically converting the kebani mass psychology into numbers into numbers and these yeah. graphs right so that's absolutely what absolutely true that's what he t- calls it and and he says that he does use it mali say i like to focus on the fundamentals and he stay on that अनि मेरे पर्सनल टेक से कस्तो हो इन्वेस्टमेंट फिलोसफी में आई ट्राई टू थिंक लाइक इफ इफ आई पिकअप अ स्टॉक एट लेट्स से टू हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड आई थिंक दैट ओवर द नेक्स्ट फोर फाइव इयर्स इट कैन गो अप टू फोर हंड्रेड और फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज आई डोट वॉन्ट टू गेट कॉट अप बिटवीन इस लाइक फाइव पर्सेंट एक्स्ट्रा तीर्नी कि फाइव पर्सेंट कम तीर्नी सो आई जस्ट एंटर इट अनि आई वेट फर दैट स्टोरी टू प्ले आउट एंड एक्जिट इट एंड बट अभियसली आई थिंक त्यो फिलोसफी लाइक यू मेन्शन बिफोर है हर एक को लाई डिफर कर सके एंड दे हेव अ डिफरेंट वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट इट एंड दे नो राइट और रॉन्ग वे टू एक्चुअली लुक एट दैट राइट ओके वी गो नो आई थिंक वी गोइंग टू जिस पॉज यर फॉर सम टाइम एंड आई थिंक यू टच अपन अनादर टॉपिक लाइक विच इज बेसिकली योर फादर राइट मिस्टर छोटे लाल रॉनियर है इज अ वेरी फेमस फिगर इन नेपाल को स्टॉक मार्केट एट लीस्ट फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड टेन ऑनवर्ड्स राइट सो कैन यू टेल मी अ लिल बिट अबाउट लाइक यू नो what influence has he had on you as a person and in terms of this investment sphere wow that's that's something i didn't think on um as a person there's so my grandfather happened to also be a garment uh, person yes. so fabrics are ko kaam garnu hunthyo back in mokhantol eh yeah ani mero grandfather bitta kheri cha mero dad lai dui tin ora arthi dera janu bhayo rahe cha ke so upadesh haru um and my father still in fact just two days back as well he was mentioning it to me he keeps repeating it yeah um and for me that's almost like generation wealth for me he says not dir not darunu not birunu there's one line yeah so when he mentions that he also mentions it in a way where if you've done nothing wrong yeah make sure you're not scared of it make sure nothing scares you apart from god you shouldn't be scared of anything else yeah. so that's one yeah so and i try and apply it where is he also i've seen him apply it at places like so a protest say yeah. right so whenever he goes into a field yeah he tries and uplifts the field he tries and makes it more 
um institutionalized framework transparent correct you ek hisab le advance us moi le sake samay isla contribute karu is what he is thinking on correct so that's what happened when he entered the market yeah and so there was a point of time you know in share market lai jua ghar bhanya thyo hai yeah babram bhatt ko yeah i wasn't trying to take the name but yeah, yeah. Hey. i mean he did say it well I mean. it was public yeah. so my mom came back from the uk and she said tapai jua ghar ma kaam garne you know when he was entering and he was like so there was a point and i was the witness to this yes he said gayatri ek din pakha share market ma pani ma esto kaam esto naam chhodera janchu i will uplift it Okay. It's not a juagar. Oh. It's not a speculator's market. There is a lot of numbers, yes. figures, policies, everything. Of People's course. earnings are on it. Yeah. You have no clue. The economy depends on it. Exactly. And that was not the mindset of people back yeah. then. It was very different. Correct. Even Rashtra Bank didn't look at it like that. Yeah. It was actually very different. Hence, he probably had that vision. Yeah. He had already seen it. So he's a he's a big time visionary. Yeah. Yes. He stands by a lot of policies, frameworks, yeah. principles. I mean, he's very strong. He's done so many things, right? I think the some retail investors the dos dos kita pauni system, sani. Yes, yes. He's the one who actually lobbied for that, you know. He um, lobbied for that, and um, I, if I'm not wrong, so while I, your age, I'm about to say, I'm saying age, I'm about to say, while I'm telling you, I'm not going to go into that, okay? That you are my boy, so. तब सबजा जो स्टेक होल्डर्स फ्रम नेप्से टू सेवेन टू एवरीबडी ब्रोकर्स यू एक्चुअली स्टैंडिंग योर बिजनेस स्टैंडिंग इज बिकज वी आर हियर इन द मार्केट हेलो वी नीड टू हेव अ से सो दिस इज आर स्पेस आई वॉन्ट टू से दिस एंड आई थिंक इट वॉज इम्प्लिमेंटेड विद इन थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स मंथ्स वॉट एवर टाइम इट वॉज यू भाई आई थिंक पीपल यूज टू गेट बल्क में बट इट वॉज बींग डिस्ट्रिब्यूटेड इवेनली है सो वॉट हेपेंड वॉज पैला एट देर इज अ फेमस नेम छोले Have you heard of it? Yeah, I think I understand what you're trying to say. So, gang gang baata, pura gang toll ko um, citizenship booker a aone, ani yani ra IPO baada kiri, hazar hazar ma pani pahne, 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 pahne yeah. firi, ani tio pahne. So look at it now, nifra ko ta pahle hazar kitta stock ra hai be, you would be a million hai by now. Yeah. Hai, so tio pahla ko pravati thiyo. Thought that was not evenly distributed. It was not fair on everybody who. It wasn't it. going to the retail investors. Exactly. Yeah. So market ko scope bada hone hisable ra yota fair growth ko hisable. It was very much required. Correct. So that's one bit of it. He did work on to um, amro integration. Just the oil N R N lab is raunu ko lagi bani wale zun push di rakhnu baato. This was actually something he started on when he was in N I F. Yeah. I think 2014. Yeah. 14 tiro wale zab join karnu baato. That's the first thing he mentioned. Ki hamle NRN le pitra unu parsa. Thik so, Rashtra Bank might not have a policy, yeah. but then one door policy le rare ila gadi bolo unu parsa was what he started. Yeah. And look at it now, where we are, at least foreign employment ma payda sa. There's one at Correct. least we're one step away from NRN, yes. but yeah, at least something has started on. You know, there's way one. Let's say ira ayo. So these are the kind of things he looks. Another at. one is I think the. Over the past one two years, brokerage commission pani. He wanted to reduce yeah. it much yes. more, yes. Know, but I think thirty percent they got illicit. Thirty three is that again. Yes. So from zero to zero point six highest slab thi amru. Yes. We've come down to zero point four only. Correct. Thora lower slab ma sa zero point two five ma ayo na. Correct. Wahan le sa mangnu baago the di bola zero point two five antar gote sabe gor dinu. Flat system no gor nu hai na. Yeah. There might be three slabs or four slabs, whatever, however you yeah. uh, would want to put it. Yeah, taller ko score the slabs are just a khula rakh dinu. Correct. So that there's competition between brokers. So look at India. Yeah, or zero da bano na. Yeah. So they only charge a certain amount of floating rupees, like bis rupee, dui se rupee, whatever, you know. You want to charge gor sa. Yeah, you want to yearly da bala charge. There's another one called five paisa. Just charge the five paisa. Five paisa. Okay, I, I haven't heard of that. That's new for me. I'll go back and tell five you that. Five paisa, okay, ten paisa, something like that. So you want to, you know. So for transaction. Yeah. I mean, it's a free market, and yeah. if someone wants to disrupt that thing with technology, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Because, I mean, ultimately, what is a broker? You know, a broker is someone who helps the it's buyer. It's intermediate. Yeah, who helps the buyers uh, find the right stock exactly. through sellers, yeah, right? A yeah, yeah. uh, poila poila, if you look at it, broker ko effort pan tei level maun thiyan ta. All is digitalized. All it's all digitalized, yeah. and people are already on that platform, right? Exactly. So again, the Paris from a corner side or. Right. You should allow the right. system to change with changing right. times, right? And that so hasn't happened. There could be something like our digital aligati yeah. medium ma goi, right? Now back office. I, I think you flore out onu parsege. If someone wants to do it for free, and then they know that they can make mm-hmm. money through mm-hmm. that, 
लाइक फ्री में कर दू बट आल चार्ज मनी हियर एंड एज लंग एज दे बिजनेस इज सस्टेनेबल You should allow that capitalism cycle to work just the last. Something like PTM zero that should come to Nepal, yes. like that concept and that, should come that, to Nepal. That technology, and that I know people actually. Come. I I do know a few people in Nepal who say that we can do that. But if the regulator let the floor rack dinu ba na license dina lai again, you know. Yeah. I think your father is one of the advocates who said that yeah. license bottom person and should be given to everyone who meets the criteria. So, yeah, right? exactly. You know, like th- this. Ma- why are you doing this whole license raj ko system? Exactly. License raj ko system hota uno ko lagi pani. We're f- having to fight so much through a lot of things like. Um, Broker, purano existing brokers they kill it. A purano existing framework ma who have oh. already had that monopolistic control over yeah. a lot of things, not just you know the market. Yeah. It's also on the data on a larger scale yes. that we cannot even imagine. So tio yar da kiri ta, we're fighting against something people don't even see Correct. actually in the market. Yes. And tio zun ko sim ko pressure also. Yeah. It's very different. It's I, something we cannot even actually like put on paper, pen yeah. to paper. Pani hu dai na hai na. Correct. But yeah, there is. An I mean, in a certain force. cases, I think last time you had mentioned, you know, like there are threats and these kind of things that oh, you yeah. guys receive as yeah, well, right? Yeah, yeah, it's fun at times. Yeah, that's But when that's when I see the that bit of my father, you know, not darawnu na birawnu. That's yeah. when I see it. It's actually there. Yeah, it, it's challenging because you're looking at things which you're not going to benefit directly from. If Absolutely. things work out, you are not the only beneficiary out of Absolutely. it, right? Absolutely. The system is the beneficiary. Absolutely. There are if there's some risk. I think you're going to bear the direct heat of exactly. it. Exactly. So sometimes what I understand from this is, um, I understood very early on, being my father's daughter, I also have to be the catalyst for the market. Correct. So yeah, that's that, that, exactly. that's that's what I was going to discuss with you, right? Mm-hmm. So how to because I've seen that you go to these protests and uh, you're going to these participation, and I'm going. To, I think with this you can add like investing with grace money, cookie open. But before you touch on investing with grace, I've seen you go to these protests and you. Seban Maguire, you've done those kind of uh, things where you've yeah. asked Seban, you got no, you got no, these kind of protests. You have a good relation with the regulator, you know. Yes. You've been critical of them at times as well. So is that where it's trickled down from that influence from your father? Yes, yes. So, so what's so the conversation at home that he tells you? So he's like, if you find um, a misdoing in the market, you better be sure about it. A, you do your research. You discuss about it amongst your mentors. Yeah. Like um, for me, it's my go- my go-to person is my father, and then yeah. I have few more. Yes. I have a few more person uh, people in my sca- uh, circle. Yes. So whom I speak to. Yeah. Um, sometimes it might be on trade. Sometimes it might be on like things like Nifra ke case ma pani jo na amro market ek ekchuti theo amro Nifra sorry TMS ma alke the problem a theo. Yes. Theo onda kiri pani, and I'll tell you what, by the luck of God. त्यो प्रब्लम आक मेरे अकाउंट में आगे फिर एटा चाहे सो व्हेन आई सोल्ड साथी किट्टा तो फर्स्ट मेरे पढ़ा थे तो फर्स्ट साथी किट्टा तो मैं पढ़ा थे मैं तो भाग अगर प्री मार्केट प्री मार्केट है ओपनिंग में हम सर्किट हाँ रहा बेला थर्ड देखि फोर्थ डे में हजार किता रखा थे पढ़ो मैं कि अब जब तो अकाउंट पर साठी किटा मैं बेचा छु हजार किता बेचा छुन जो दिन तो आठ सौ पुग्या कि सात सौ अस्सी ये ये रेंज में पुगे थे आई आई न्यू आई हेव टू सेलेक्ट वन मैं सेल कर रखे एज अ ट्रेडर ट्रेडर को धर्म कर राख एक सौ सात है हजार साठी किता नहीं गए कि मैं हजार राखे छेन इट्स डेबरेटेड फ्रम माई अकाउंट एंड आई एव नट इन पुट इट सो मैं तो स्क्रीनसट ली अब तो प्रूफ हो मे टीएमएस में प्रूफ आई सको तैं सेल भर आई सकता है आई वेन्ट विथ दैट प्रिंट आउट टू ते बेला बिस्मस कर आई गेव टू माई फादर इज लाइक मोर देन मी हेन्डलिंग इट आई गेस यू हेव अ प्रूफ नाउ तब मार्केट में प्रूफ खोजन जानू आई डोट थिंक यूल फाइंड अ प्रपर प्रूफ या अ पर्सन विल स्टैंड बाई इट फिर हम मार्केट में के देखाने मैं फोटो पठाईदिने मैं धे हो अगड़ी आँदा कोई भी होते हैं दैट्स अ मेजर प्रब्लम हाई नट मार्केट दैट्स जेनरल जेनरल लाइफ सो दैट हेपन्स एंड फर मी इट वॉज लाइक यू नो कम ऑन इट्स मी आई लाइ अभियली गो मसंग पास एंड आई हेव नट डन एनीथिंग रंग तब लग्न सो दैट हेपन एंड देन दे वर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड आइडेन्टिफाई के प्रब्लम भार रही है and then that was sorted that way yes correct but with my father around what happens is he teaches me there is a way to approach them yes there's a protocol there's yes. a certain language you have to use yeah but you need to put yourself across correct. your message has to go through if it's right you need to be communicative yeah you mean you also need to be very observant very resilient yes but um on a very smart understanding you know nepal government and you do have a 
Asti Dipani, when we are talking, you know, you do have a decent relation with the regulator, right? Yes. Especially with Sebon. Yes. yes. And with Rashtra Bank as yes. well, you have some. So, yes. can you, like for our viewers, you know, can you tell them, like, what exactly, your conversation can't say, because even for somebody like me, I've never interacted with someone like the Sebon, okay? Mm-hmm. I always, about, I'm a generation of people, you know, we always tend to look at the regulator as somebody like, Oh, you're the government bureaucrat. Unapproachable. Unapproachable. Oh, yeah. I think we're on different planes. Another place you're involved is, I think, Nepal Investor Forum. Yes. You're involved. Right? So can you tell me, like, what are these organizations trying to achieve? Right? The market is not going to be the issue. Mm-hmm. What's your relation with these? Costos, what's your perception of these, actually? So my perception is um, okay. Overall, my so yeah. I am invo- involved in different forums and different places altogether. I have to be a representative, of course. Yes. But I'm not actively in there at the moment. There will be a time I will be there actively, yeah. um, leading things on a different direction. Yeah. But right now, for me, um, I'm still doing my homework. Is how I'd, I'd like to put it with on myself. With the forums. Yeah. So with the forums, I also need a bit of experience on myself. Okay. to be able to have that leadership leadership rep- uh, representation there correct so that's one thing of it but then having said that i have very um, very good relations with inside the forum as well thanks to my father he also yeah. showed me that way in fact he was founder of one of these yeah, as well so right? so he was a founder and uh, so not a founder he was a salahkar in yeah. one of these and then the past president for one of these okay. so two or three of the organizations correct. so that's there um, and I am in the two, three organizations itself. Correct. So that's there. Uh, Later on yes. in life, whenever I'm advancing as an investor, I will need this forum. Yeah. And I will need the voice of people. Yeah. Titi Bela Kuzun Yota vision hunsa market could you represent Gorna Kulagi? I'll have to step up. I know that. Gorna Parsa, yes. The Gorna Bani Parsa, Kinabane, Nepal Dosto, yeah, India Sudan. Junbani Toma. Southeast Asia, my bottom nine. Yeah. yeah. You're not given what you're, what's yours. Correct. Right? So, I mean, investor, boy, represent Ghana Life, we've fought a long way here. Yes. So, that's there. That's one thing. Um, coming back to the government agencies and authorities, I lacked here initially. In fact, I have never been to a proper government agency. I had never stepped into a government office. Right? Yeah. Uh, but having said that, the first person I met was Bismasar. Not now, like a few years back, yeah. you know, when he was um, in seven. This was the second one was Chandra Singh South sir, in Nepse. In Nepse. So mm. it, both the times, right? With so I have had a positive and a negative both interaction, you know. Negative was when I mean Nepse ko prangan kerna gathiyam, and it was to do with Amri you COVID ko lockdown. Yeah. They were not agreeing to close the market. Yes. Which was not to harm the market. It was actually to advance the market within a certain period of time and then come back. Yes. You know? Plus the market the world market crash because it was a very uncertain situation. Yes. So it's a once in a lifetime crisis. Right? Yes. How COVID started was very different for all of us. It's a yeah. lifetime. Never seen before. <laughs> yeah, crisis. exactly. Yeah. So that's there. He did not take it very right. Yeah. He called the police. This is Nepsema. Yeah. Chandra Singh South, sir, yeah. for you, right? A board meeting, boy, right? They left saying not a word. We had given in a letter, right? this is the reason. Your points are my take it. Um, so, we bylaws are weird, right? Bylaws were not milne, okay? This is not Bylaws are legally not milne, we have to say that. So, we have to say that it was to safeguard the investors. Yeah, right? totally understand. So, that's there. Um, it takes a difference of understanding but at the end he did it yes. right? so we shut it down for 40 days right? so 49 days roughly. Yes. so yeah that happened second right? he has been always very accepting to the fact that yeah we investors have a say in the market Yes. and if we're saying something it comes out from a place that needs to be researched one day right? concept right okay um, it might be alikati overshadowed by different other things in yeah. the market um, and the Tito Patra that goes on, you know, that's there. <sighs> oh, we're coming to a transformation now. Yes. So the first time I interacted with him was almost roughly um, eight, nine months back. Right? Yeah. And I was taken aback. I was, I was stunned. Yeah. I have never seen such an authoritative figure, such a dynamic personality who holds that courage and power, who holds that personality to do things right. Yes. 
सो वहाँ जो कमिटमेंट्स या गुण थी इवन बिफोर वी एक्चुअली हेन्ड ओवर हम रिमेनिंग काम ये हो रहा तो भाई अगर नहीं वहाँ एक्कीस बाईस बुंद को शायद वहाँ निकाल रहे एंड ही मेन्सन टू अस दैट यू नो तब आई एम हेप्पी दैट तब लो यो तो मैं करूँ पड़ने काम नहीं हो यो मेरे पोजिशन ने नहीं देखे काम हो है यो मैं लिस्ट बनाई सकता यो 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 इसी इसी अपडेट दिवस एंड फर मी समन लाइक दैट इन दैट पोजिशन वॉज अलमोस्ट लाइक अ गोल्डन अपर्चुनिटी फर मार्केट टू टेक अ टर्न एंड टेक अ न्यू स्टैंड इन द मार्केट है मार्केट चेंज होने एट जो डाइनामिक एट अपलिफ्टमेंट आने तो पावर आयो कि सो दैट वॉज वेरी इंसपिरेशन फर मी हई हेविंग सैट दैट टू थ्री एटा अरुण इंटरैक्शन्स भो एंड द सेकेंड लास्ट इंटरैक्शन नट द लास्ट सेकेंड लास्ट इंटरैक्शन आई हेड ही मेन्सन टू मी आई वॉज इन इज अफिस आई हेपन टू जस्ट कोल्ड नक है आई वॉन्टेड टू नो अ फ्यू थिंग्स ऑन द मार्केट हम बाइलॉज को हिसाब से टेक्निकल्स को हिसाब से सो दिस इज समथिंग माई फादर टॉट मी तुम्हें कहीं बुझ् यो मार्केट में न्यूज आने भाई राम हो तुम्हें डाइरेक्टली ट्राई एंड एप्रोच द पर्सन सीम्पली एप्रोच कर वहाँ एंटरटेन गए वेल एंड गुड तो भाई राम र इन्फर्मेसन कल मार्केट में सुने को इन्फर्मेशन माइट बी अ मिक्स अफ थिंग्स माइट बी कमिंग फ्रम अ डिफ्रेंट सोर्स सो ने मार्केट वी हेव टू अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग इन द मीडिया इज नट नेसेसरिली हाउ इट इज सो दैट्स दैट पुरिंग इट वेरी सीम्पली एंड सप्ली आई हेपन टू डू दैट एंड वट ही मेन्सन टू मी वज वेन आई वज लिविंग हि सैड I am very happy someone like you has approached me. There are only three or four people in the young group <laughs> who have approached me, and I was actually expecting this six months back. There's nobody from the younger generation who wants to make a representation. That's a gap in the market. Yes. And that hit me. I was like, okay, I think I need to ask you something on this. Yeah. So. So he's pretty positive about younger people coming up with ideas. He's absolutely positive, and what he mentioned to me on a personal note was. Whenever I'm um, leaving for this position, yeah. I want to have ten, twenty, thirty, or young generation, okay. next generation people yeah. with the right direction, with the right knowledge in place, yeah. doing the right sort of things for this market. Correct. That's what I see, what I want to see when I leave this market, Correct. so that I'm handing over to the next generation. So that's the thought he has. Yeah. So for you personally, right? I mean, so now you're talking about a regulator who's interested. You have that experience. Your father has the background where he's an activist and everything. You know, what do you want to achieve? So if you were to put down three goals, saying that you know, Maili dehi ko say, this is what I want to achieve. I wish Sebon or the market did this. Like, ek dum a short term, ah, not long term. Ah, we'll come to that. Little. What are your like near term? Wow, objective. I don't think three would uh, even three would one. accommodate that. Yeah. <laughs> But um, to start with, we actually need to have a fair and square, free flowing market. Whether in terms of brokership, yeah. Whether in terms of um, derivatives, options, you suppose go Ambro instruments or market maler on you, say na. We need to have an open, accepting market, right? Yeah. In terms of policy, in terms of government, and in terms of the people as well, people like I mean investors or like when they open garaune, tarika is actually by the regulator saying, oh, hey, this is available in the market. Yeah. Just say while it's about mutual fund ex- open garnu boyo. Yeah. We're so Nepal market is still not open to the concept of mutual funds. Is it here that here? By the way, Videsh ma pura garda hai. Any vigo isable chalsa. Nepal mati open chalda hai na. Hey. That is the concept is there. It's existing. It's actually advancing day by day. होला अलग नेगेटिव में होला वी हेव नट कम टू ग्राउंड जीरो नेगेटिव में छो है तर देर विल बी वन डे वेर इट कम्स एंड टू ग्राउंड जीरो एंड देन इट्स स्टार्ट्स पोजिटिव इन इट्स सेल्फ सो दैट्स देयर सो इन टर्म्स अफ दैट अप्सन्स इंट्राडे ये सब लेकिन जरूरी सो दैट्स वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू हेव हाई सो फ्री फ्री माइंड सेट भन अफ ओवरअल ओपननेस 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 एंड अक्नोलेजमेंट अफ एवरीथिंग दैट्स देयर वन टू हेविंग सेट दैट openness to everything will obviously bring in a lot of negatives as well we yes. have to be open to that too yes. we can't be like zun nepal ma aile euta bani cha ni yo huncha bhanera te kamai nagarne ke correct hai asti pani somebody was like the book building is an example right ek chodi try garyo they felt well maybe fraud ba thi ki bhanera now they stopped the entire process exactly and that's not fair on the company and the investors both yes hai dui te pani so you mean you, you need to learn from a mistake exactly. ani agadi badhnu parcha right. rather than trying to say that yo gari bhani yo huncha ki bhanera pachadi hatnu bhanda ellai cha solve garera agadi kasai bhanu 
Right. You're the yeah. boy. Yes. Um, What else? So the, the, this is the second. Second thing. one. The third thing is I would want fr- an approachable um, framework wherein investor side, um, corporate bodies or institutions or suppose an amelia. Yeah. Your openness, acceptance, raw government side, but I say your framework is to our zanira. We institutionalize a lot of things like code of conduct. Mm. Right, market may have a code of conduct. Code, it's a very important thing. Okay. Code of conduct in terms of not just insider information or any of these. You touch on it. That regulatory in power oh. should also have a certain yeah. line. I think even I think along those lines, right? So government let's say seven let's say more empower God no pari ke. It's not necessarily. Uh, I think Ijo Bakhari. There was this news where a lot of people, including few of these Bollywood stars. They were involved in insider trading. Oh yeah, yeah. You're talking about Ashraf Ghani. Yeah, yeah, even he was involved. Yeah. Na? My point is, India, much as SEBI is so empowered. I mean, it SEC. Is, na, tiyo, Jordan Belfort, the guy That's who was Wolf yes, of Wall Street. Yes. Na? He was brought down by the SEC, yeah, ke, yeah. which is like American version of SEBI. Mm-hmm. Na? Mm-hmm. Ani, taro, government le ulle eti sama empower gari ko sa, that bully market is a good place which helps to mobilize money from people ko savings. Yeah. Into good businesses. Yes. तर यदि कोई business अथवा कोई market participants है तेले abuse कर सा, तेले manipulate कर सा बनी. SEC सा SEC सा इति power सा उल्ले उल्ले इति try करे रा jail आये रे उसको career देखिले रे सब बाई destroy करना सकते हैं. I think Nepal में अपन like you mentioned. I think the government has to enable Sebon. They have to look at Sebon like a place where general janta ko savings can be mobilized into good businesses mm-hmm. that help to build the nation yes, yes. i think government the concept has to change yes that concept has to change and ullai seban la empower pani garnu paryo ke so the authoritative eurazun um, power dine ta chhadai cha haina sir it also has to be left as an autonomous body it cannot exactly. be politicized jun aile aru pani independence ani and accountability bancha ni dui te chaina ke yeah dui te dinu parcha ke nepal ma chai That's it. Yeah, Nepal must it like we mentioned in the point before, and right? it's always that fear that ulla mai le power dey bani, abuse gar dey bani. Well, bani, yeah, the yeah. bani thought process and so, and you never know until and unless you try. You actually have to give them independence, mm-hmm. give them authority, mm-hmm. but you also make them accountable. You tell yeah. them that ki bigare bani, I'm going to question you. These are the parameters. Yes. So this is why you walk in, wa- work in. Yes. This is um, what you cannot walk over. तर त्यो भए भने चाहिँ यो हुन्छ सो यु नो दैट शुड बी डन एक्चुअली व्हेन आई आस्क यू दिस क्वेश्चन हैन आई थॉट यू टॉक अबाउट वुमेन इन फाइनेंस राइट एज वन अफ योर मेजर पॉइंट्स राइट सो इन्वेस्टिंग विद ग्रेस हैन इन्वेस्टिंग विद ग्रेस इज एज फार एज आई अंडरस्टैंड इट्स अ प्लेटफार्म दैट यु नो हेल्प्स टू ब्रिंग मोर वुमेन लिटरेसी इन फाइनेंस एंड इन्वेस्टिंग राइट मैले अस्ति पनि बिफोर यू वी हैड अ गेस्ट रद दैट हैन अनि इफ यू लुक एट वर्ल्ड वाइड ने हैन इफ यू लुक एट Top 20 investors, even from the top of my head, I can't even think of Miru Kesma. I can't think of one uh, a famous female investor. Okay, uh, Nepal Maapan. If you look, at, if you look around for a lot of fund managers, there is high, okay, right. So tell tell us a little bit about investing with Grace, you know. Ani, what's your objective? You, how did this come about, and what's the objective? What all is the work that you all have done? Okay. Um, so, quick question before I jump onto that, Ida. Yeah. Nepal ma how many commercials ba- commercial banks have you um, I think approximately only 20 something so right, sorry 23 22 yeah. ola no 24 ola Yeah okay 24 ma how many of them are being headed by a woman Yeah there used to be one mega but I think now mm-hmm. she's retired to you <laughs> know uh, so zero How does that sound for you Yeah I, not good you know but one thing I ne- we need to understand is uh, that's not the bigger question eh the bigger question is In the next ten to fifteen years, sure. I mean, Oiliko CEOs are the previous generation. Yes. Where I can understand in a lot of cases the equality to level mathe na ge, right? Ten mm-hmm. to fifteen years into the future, you're mm-hmm. talking about a generation that have studied together, yeah. that have access to that equal everything opportunity together. and everything, you know. So my lagi baane ni Oilipan if I go around capital market, which is generally younger CEOs and everything, you know, how many of these are female CEOs? in capital market wow china ni hai na forget ceos the second person top management mein top management ka kati jana cha even board of director ma representation is hai yeah ani tyo thikai cha compulsory ko lagi ek jana rakheko cha i think that's a good step forward mm-hmm. right tara 
कति जनाले ल्याउन खोजेको छ सेइङ दैट वेल अपर्चुनिटी दिनु पर्छ नि छ एक्ज्याक्टली यस सो दैट इज अ बायसनेस दैट वी विल हैव टु ओभरकम आवरसेल्फ यस राइट सो इन्भेस्टिंग विथ ग्रेस अहिले अलिकति प्यासिवली हामीले वेट गरिरा हो हैन यस सो माइ कोफाउंडर इज प्रशालनी Uh, we started this with the concept of understanding that amle jab yo covid ko time ma market haru heryum ni for me personally so since 5 7 years whenever i visited a broker office yeah. so the outcry ko time jun the window bar amle bantha yes there was a point of time where i have not seen more than 3 or 2 women on the floor yes ek jana ta chia banaune didi hununthyo and she was investing dollars kita kin ra true hamle sodnu hunthyo है मैं एकदम टच कर सोधा थे दाई सोधे वहाँ के बुझ्द तब भन्दिन नानी भू दैट समर हिट मी दैट वॉज लाइक मैं एकजा दीजू आंटी जल्ले भोध् भो आई फेल्ट सम समथिंग हेपन यू नो समथिंग चेंज इन साइड मी दैन आई डेन्ट रियलाइज इट इट वॉज फर दिस हाई हेविंग सैड दैट आई मेट रिश्र शी इज अ चाइल्डहुड फ्रेंड After a long, long, long period, almost a decade. Correct. Uh, and when I met her, she was a very active feminist. Yes. Um, I met her in one of the online sessions. She approached me. Yes. She Nepal ma esas to case ha banira in terms of investment, you know. And then we started talking over the phone. Your COVID ke lockdown ke period ma. Correct. High lockdown period ma thiyo. Um, I think the initial two three months jo na amra COVID ko the curfew ne thiyo. Thes pochi ne hoyo immediately pochi ho. Yeah. And then she was like. Okay so let's do just a preliminary session we don't have anything let's just do an instagram live you know uh. and then we went instagram i have a personal page but and then we connected a professional page yes um while later we started an instagram live uh. and then the feedback came like it was tremendous kina bhane by then the ipo ko dadas kita wala jun thyo it had picked up so the audience obviously jun am um, transformative stage to from 2 lakh to 57 lakh 55 lakh jun all all the matter come so you know acha so your transformation ko bich ma thyo hami already hai so tyo hunda kheri obviously it was the talk of the town back then covid yeah. man people had nothing else to do so repeating the story again tyo hunda kheri it was the talk of the town hai yeah. ani people happen to also have this conversations in their families bachar ko gadi chora chori ko gadi hai na and then the tories obviously who were learning in college and all of that probably the pocket money ko lagi you know different approaches yeah. they came up and instagram obviously is a very live tool yeah. for the next generation you know yes. and probably a mix of that worked we had a lot of queries we had a lot of people who were very enthusiastic about it so we kind of said ki la theke sa you two three weeks some and continue karam and then we'll see where this goes Correct. we did that Uh, that's how it started. Yes. Because she being a feminist. So this is a platform for women. It is a platform know, yes. only for women, or uh, specifically, queers, yeah, yeah, specifically for women. Uh, so this is where we come in. We women are actually born onto budgeting. Yes. Karmic budget course, so hey. So we know our grandparents, grandmothers have done that. Yeah. So husband le jole. Uh, the male members of the family wale ko mar le raun huncha te paisa tan ko hat ma dinu huncha traditionally yes. in asian societies yes. right? and then to paisa even, even western the societies that used to happen okay. no yeah, other than the 50 100 yeah. 200 so that's, years that's quite long back yes um they've progressed in multiple multiple times of course but we are still there yeah. and probably this generation is what we're supposed to be taking care of and be the catalyst for yeah. is amile aligati the progressiveness push karnu parcha ai besi nai karnu parcha we have to extend ourselves yeah. that's true um that's there and then what we held on to was ki tyo amle jo core nature of women yeah we already know how to handle money yeah in many cases actually a lot better than a lot of people right yeah. so tyo banda kheri so savings ko bani we know it right yeah. so tela budget karera tela thake um, portions ma cut karne pani we know it yes so that's exactly the concept we both used financial literacy bani euta chai then we start researching on the topic So we tried um, taking in classes from female who invest one day. That's how you came out. I know. Okay. So there are few bodies nice. who actually give you yeah. trainings. We did do a uh, bit of that. I know. Yeah. To understand where this works, how this works. Yeah. Right? Western matters how one. So definitely Nepal needs it one day. Sadly, we yes. came out. Yes. Uh, that's where we started, and then gradually, when we advanced, we started doing clubhouse sessions after that yeah. and it was on a weekly basis and we would have tremendous amount of support from everybody yeah 
there was a lot of enthusiasm on to like you know these basic general topics ki introduce cost recovery afi afi what is ipo you right, know yeah. basics of the market what are indices what is an epse how does um, how do how does one open mero share all of that basics in the clubhouse yeah in the clubhouse live and uh, we would have a lot of female audience who would come up and ask questions and all of that yes. so that's how we started interacting with the audience and market correct that's there that was the second phase and then the third phase we went on to saying ki okay let maybe it's time to advance ourselves it was almost 6 7 months yeah. down um and ali kati khule apan the lockdown khule the correct so let's hit on to one of the timings and do a physical class so say two days ko ya yeah, one day ko just a workshop not even a class yeah. that's how we started registering yeah not more than 20 25 you know and we started doing that kathi din ko classes hunte yeah two days or one day depending on the kind of audience we have right? okay so it was very curated so, so isko isko target audience generally like uh, cool until like what's the age group of girls or women that used to come so there was no age barrier right yeah. tara um what we received as an audience was 35 30 25 to 35 ko gap say Like so, the the parameters was yeah. quite quite heavy, okay. so it was almost seventy eighty percent on that. And what was generally taught? So generally, very basics, preliminary of the market. So right from opening a, your account, yes, connecting uh, connect IPS, yes, to um, tapo ko TMS ko sari line, hai na? What is a broker? Yeah, uh, mutual fund scale, IPO ko sari parne. These are the basics of the market. Okay, so you're trying to get these people into the market. Yeah. Okay. So who are already um trying to get into the market that was there yes. one of the one portion of the audience was that mm. second portion of the audience were they know how to apply an IPO so basically demat ch tyo bhanda gari ke garne tha sena secondary market e tha saina so the primary market secondary market ko difference secondary market ko introduction you know? yes and then also introduction to what is a monetary policy because yeah. one of the things that highly influences Affects the market it. is um, that right? monetary policy um and macroeconomic factors and microeconomic factors of the market not in depth you know that's not possible at all <coughs> yeah tara yeah. just so did you ever teach them like basic market kasari herno parcha how do you analyze a company even basic tarika yes, i know it's yes. yeah, okay so something like um okay fundamentals ko kura garda khere because technicals to possible thena yeah. right oh. um i also believe that technicals etike garnu hundaina correct yeah market ma aiko dui barsha pachi matai garnu parcha tin barsha pachi yes. when you're prepared yeah for me i wasn't prepared which is why i learned the hard way right correct um i happened to do it within the third or fourth month itself yeah. and it didn't me no good correct right? yes i never used the technicals until up until um covid okay right so that's how it happened yeah. that's how it happened for me so i understood that you know um sort of the mistake i made correct. i applied it here so i was more on to ki because we women are internally also scared of numbers and we are also made aware ki conscious ki and finance yeah. is not for you bonra pehle dekhi the euta um psychology and they go on the concept that has come in yes in like probably the generations passed down the generations one of them they like what i carry what i thought was maybe it's not a good thing to introduce like a higher level yeah so what do you teach them correct so what i taught them was basics the pala balance sheet ta herna aunsa bhanne sothe because most of the women were educated yes right? 1995 99% of women who came to me was ed- were educated and right? in this field itself yeah. in this field working somewhere it ma ya kothe na so they would know at least an un- understanding ki balance sheet bana ki annually aune euta ke financial highlight yeah. over right no? and then i just would print out the balance sheet of any random company yeah um, and then i would actually give you ki e- eps bana ki ho eps er no bana got it so the basics basics very basics so even that yeah gives you a tool of confidence Good in the correct. market it gets you started I exactly think. so you're starting up right yeah. so financial literacy ko charo ra jun pillars the savings investing um, compound you sab you are at the point ne aalyo that's one you right? know and then the second is you're actually giving them physical tools yeah. mental tools that you can use in the market to look at a company yeah. so because obviously they're not going for trading directly True. they're going for investing investing mana sathe so it's Ali kati basic hai. So tio tio dekha hai bani they would at least know ki you know what is going on in the market. Uh, yeah. Where do I look at? Correct. So tisle ani to hear da hear da what it does to you is you look at five, ten, twenty balance sheets, then you start comparing. Yeah. I think That's it's a, a self-learning process. Yeah, it's a so self-learning. So the whole 
the whole philosophy is to start getting women into this field. Yes, yes, right? absolutely. And then I think it's up to them to take it more and more yeah, advanced. Yeah, right? absolutely. So I would also teach them something like, what is inflation? Yeah. Mudra spriti kyo in in Nepali. Yeah. Um, mudra spriti ya inflation le tapi ko earning ma ko sorry farak parsa. Yeah. Hi. So if you're earning twenty percent, how do I have to calculate the inflation and oh. like you know deduct it? Right. We're never taught that, even in schools. Yeah. Forget the women, even men are not taught that. Absolutely. Right? Oh. So there's a Personal gap. finance. Exactly, right? personal finances. So that is something I would um, yeah. instill in them. Yeah. So I saw you page like investing with Greece during COVID. Whenever the market was on a bull run, and the market bull run, I try to reduce my interactions with as many people as possible. Mm-hmm. Because there are a lot of these excited young people yes. who come up. With ideas that are not sustainable. Okay? There's a lot of noise in the market. There's a lot of noise, you know, and there are a lot of these pages that pop up at that yes. point of time. Okay? Yes. And I came across investing with Grace, you know, because one of my friends had attended the workshop, and then I thought, okay, first let me test if these guys are good enough. And I like, had a question, like her inquiries, like her I got genuine response, so I knew that okay, what the work that you all are doing were good, you know? Then I thought, okay, how can I help at least these people? You know? I had a colleague, Shraddha Vanera, and I wanted to, because mm-hmm. she was equally enthusiastic about mm-hmm. personal finance and women in specific. You know? mm-hmm. So I thought I need to connect my mm-hmm. colleague. So that's when I actually discovered like minded people come together. Yes, yeah. I wanted like minded people, and generally by women for women, yes, it's absolutely. even a, it gives even a better message. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So I wanted to connect you mm-hmm. guys, and but again, like I mentioned before, you know, things start, mm-hmm. life starts happening, and then you get busy in your own thing. But I think now you Better guys are connected. Than ever yeah. again. You guys are connected now, you know, and uh, I hope your initiative. I'm definitely looking forward to co- working yeah. on that space. Yeah. Now. She's really good, and I think, I mean, you're really good, and and I think if you guys use your strength, I think you guys can take this platform mm-hmm. to new rights. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I want to move back to the core of this program, right? Which is like the investing mm-hmm. philosophy, right? Mm-hmm. So what I want to start with is. Tell me a little bit about your investment philosophy or like investment values and investment philosophy. Okay, so in regards to values, how I've been conditioning myself and how, how I was taught yeah. was also on a similar line, but um, in the uh-huh. process. So what happens is in when you're thinking of investing, yes, there are certain parameters you need to think of. Correct. Right? So first of all as i mentioned the expectations of a per- per- particular stock you're involved in yeah so if you like the company in terms of what it does so you also have to firstly understand the operation side of it you can't just be going by the books okay so say about approach what nepal stock exchange my listed companies are the key one okay and then i tell them that is exactly what is listed in the market. Yes. So that's how I go about it. Yeah. So operation side. So for me, how I look at a company is from the operation side. Yeah. My viewpoint is that. Correct. First entry um, in a company will be just say our uh, microfinance boy, yeah. finance boy, insurance boy. So these are very basic companies that's yeah. listed. Nepal stock market is not that very wide. It's Kya, company no right? Correct. It's very limited. That is theory yeah. sabre. So theo garda kiri we just have roughly 12, 13 indices. This ma pani com- companies or go natures are pretty on the similar lines. Yeah. So hence that's understandable. Um, kune kune is also shivam cement boy. Cement is a different manufacturing, yeah, manufacturing sector altogether. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, <coughs> two regulators or say we need to understand a eh, companies have different um, outputs, perspective, FMCG ko fora kunsa, mm. b- banking ko fora kunsa. Two orats is ha. Correct. Two orats hamle alkadi busno fora karnu par yeah. safli afli. That's a process you learn ga- learn and go as um, so doing yeah. experience. So, when you're forming a portfolio, Sunny, what's mm-hmm. your overarching theme? So, what are you looking at, especially with investing? Now, trading ko it's a point for of entry and exit, eh, na? I like an eclectic mix. I would call myself a mixer. Okay. So I will not go for just um, golden stocks or blue chip companies. Yes. Okay? I would have probably one or two of that in my portfolio okay. as a say, fixed deposit sort of a thing mindset. Correct. Just to secure myself, you know, if nothing, then this is there. Okay. That's one mindset I lay on. Correct. And then the second step I take on is um, my father has taught me something like go for basic fa- fundamental companies. Yes but who has a very good 
growth knowledge of itself okay hi so having said that i'll come to a company called nica okay hi yes um there's a bit of contradictory view to that as yes. well sure. i know i would not like to be a uh, client of nica i know yes. that's there most of the people would say that blunt honest but then i also like how its growth progression was seriously taken in the management and yes. it's actually put in pa- pen and paper and Yo. they did that 2016-17 exactly Peter, yeah. so like opening up branches on that scale this was which was never heard of before exactly it was a breakthrough in that yeah. in that uh, condition actually everyone used to laugh hai eh, na no? pehla yeah. everyone i think the highest branch was 670 or 80 branches exactly. here and when they came out and then they said i mean char se bada branch ko char se bada shuru garnu bhayo thyo and the first year itself they opened 123 ki kotira branch hai na it was quite a challenge we were like okay no what is it exactly doing my mm. question was that whereas contradictory to that my father being a, an investor yeah i still fail to understand at times how he gets that like yeah. sometimes he is overly um visionary on stuff yeah so he probably saw that coming and then he was like no this is a company we need to hold on for like a certain number of years right. this is something we should be accumulating correct so we started accumulating it back then ali kati chai and we do it in parts correct we don't go heads on we do it in parts okay that's um, nice so we swap companies as well at times yeah. so strategic for a kunda kheri strategies are align no garda kheri if i want to exit an company i would probably like you know um, add in here so that's mm-hmm. something i could do that's one thing one part of it yeah. but having said that one also needs to understand that growth tapale kaam ra herne ta yes nepal ma it's not transparent at all you ask anybody even if you approach the management yeah. or any disclosures anything, aren't enough i think almost all the guests there. we've had here sabai janle tei bhannu huncha ki nepal ko company ma dherai disclosure e bhayena okay yeah 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 that's there so they are also not very open about what um they want for the company what's their vision for the company correct right Aza. so that's probably one of the areas where i come in where i said um ogi jun maile bhani hai na i want code of conduct for people is because people at the moment who are also a part of these boards and um the p- top positions yes they are they certainly have an um insight to the company yes. but they're more of an employee to the company and not owner of the company they're not acting like that yes so in, there's a difference there's a difference of mindset in that you know true so if something you own if if it's something you own you definitely want it to do a longer lasting yeah, uh, because you have, have, have a longer lasting game. In, impact Correct. it's not like a target meet and you're done yes. that's not that it's not so it's a temporary vision and a permanent vision so tyo euta chai farak cha ke so that's what a code of conduct might be able to add on correct when uh, when there's a certain set of um, rules and regulations so, you have to follow so, so that's one yeah um oileko hisab here the headset so how we go about it is yeah Uh, so you basically have one portion of your portfolio in terms of these blue chip which mm-hmm. you said I put it something like an FD mm-hmm, yeah, as a security yeah. you know but where you're focused on is more growth oriented growth stocks oriented. with strong fundamentals yes, right yes. So, uh, is there any third category that you look at yes what's the third so one? the third category is um because we also have to um imply the macroeconomics of the market yes. so we do get information dun market mai ha you know ki la aba insurance ko alkati paid up capital bodam right yeah so those are the certain seasonal information that we get in got it so that could be something like in terms of timelines eh you you dun a year a category say it would be 2 3 years ko category right yeah. fixed deposits so could be 10 years ko category correct so this is something like a top down approach yes, where you're saying that mala insurance absolutely. life insurance means i need 15 to 20% yeah, exposure absolutely because i think there's going to be a paid up capital yeah. increase and that might help yeah. me one era right so that's there yes um sometimes what also happens is there are companies where it's probably not a blue chip company it's just done very well itself um for the past 2 3 years yes now when you've approached it and it's reached a certain like 2 3 years the kiran me dira sir yes you've reached a certain saturation point yes 
then but because you have not aligned to its strategy yes you were still holding on to it Correct. now it's time to exit so you exit when you're asking koi likai it has to be um, not thought of unsa ni koi likai it has to be on call with the cycle you're in business cycle one om ya un your cooperation cycle micro cycle market cycle era maina tyo hisab le huna saksa so these are things that you learn as you go Correct. It's not something that's pen and paper written down a certain set of rules. Correct. Say, Correct. So basically, like if I were to summarize it, right, it would probably be I think blue chip stocks would be a small portion. Yeah. A larger portion would be growth stocks with yes, strong fundamentals. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you ov- obviously also use a uh, top-down approach where you said that your sector might say it, 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 we tell it, and that's how we want to approach yeah. it. Great. So how do you generate ideas? Like, okay, so these are like this is your framework that you use for investing, right? So how do you generate ideas and where do you get ideas in terms of identifying just for example where does NIC Asia come from that name right or bully it could be like just for example Prabhu Life Insurance I mean where are you generating these ideas from So an idea could also come for me personally yes. it could also come from um I do a lot of classifications right so company wise classifications so something like the top 5 companies for me from this sector so banking sector this so you do that in an excel yeah there's there's definitely an excel sheet to a yes. sheet to every um in the isa na yes ani this ma pani how i work on it is so not every top 5 company is fundamentally strong correct so that filters out two three companies it the yeah so top five happen two three filter on the hairy there's only two two three three companies so we're talking about 10 indices one if she can 25 companies at the odd ones are right and then how i'll go about it is of a macroeconomic factor ma which are the trending stocks or which are the trending sectors yeah, right? which are likely to exactly. get a good tailwind and which exactly. can progress um also how i also think about it is if i have a concentration of commercial banks in my fixed deposits okay it could happen which is how people go about it you yeah. know tyo ya microfinance ko euras ho bhane particular i will not try and bring that over again So I don't want to repeat stock um, with a second, say uh, third or fourth category. Correct. I wouldn't. I wouldn't try and do that. Okay. Sometimes I keep it apart. Sometimes um, just the last year ago, I was in um, two years ago. I was in Bull Theo. This means I. There was a combination of microfinance go. So that has to be done depending on the seasonal um, bull. Say, right? Yeah. So bull ko cycle ko isable bani hunsa. Correct. So it could be that as well. but we also got to understand that the concept of dealing with or the approaches of dealing with each of these sectors yeah. are completely different to each other yeah timelines filters so yeah. patience so, everything is different great so for any of these sectors right let's take let's take banking or lending stocks for example you know what are the filters that you're generally looking at top 3 or 4 of these filters um You are saying the top three or four matches. First thing I would look at is um, PE. Okay. PE really works for me. Okay. PE ratio. Yes. Right? So price to earning ratio, and then the second is um, EPS. The point is how you test it. Yeah. It's yeah. NPL is one more thing. Great. Right? So yes. these are three things, you know. Yeah. Um, other than that, how we look at it as is. उससे ब्रांच कति एटा ओपन कर उसको लेंडिंग कति बढ़ा या डिपोजिट सो ग्रोथ को सो ग्रोथ को सो दैट्स दैट्स वन अगेन है हैविंग सेड दैट वी आल्सो गेट टू सी द मैनेजमेंट बोर्ड ड्यू डिलिजेंस को काम अलग सो हाउ डू डू दैट So due diligence how I do it is I mean qualitative factors right yeah, management so board quality, so yeah. quality yeah. Yeah. how do you assess that so in a context like Nepal it is very hard it oh. is very hard because um the management obviously the promoters and everybody are the same yeah. but then the CEO or the top management uh, the body keeps changing right? oh. so that's there and then sometimes it might align sometimes it might not align Correct. right So we've seen it in the case of a um, few major banks say, and yeah. I see even they have some amle yeah. it's public knowledge so tyo sapai chai huncha so we understand it as a point where agency problem once again if you have understood yeah. okay agency problem bako companies say we try and not keep it uh, nice right? so where there's no alignment between the yeah, owners exactly. and the management yeah. yes so these are there right yeah. these are companies so which is when i so going back to a few minutes and i see ko say maile bhanda heri there was a contradictory view there was agency problem 
but we also had faith in the growth progression okay so that was two contradictory things which is why what we did was we had to put in a certain amount yeah. we didn't we did only 60% of it okay got so it just you so know just to, to minimize the risk yeah. yes so risk your management when is ha so risk pato is there right got it risk means what we look at is as quite saturated company to hoy na nice so one really um, remarkable uh, remarkable uh, learning for me was my father got out of sa- standard chartered long back mm. right yeah and when i asked him he mentioned to me tedi bela chai nmb ko hamro fm fmo song fmo sama aai ra thyo ke yeah ani tedi bela chai rashtra bank was trying to push on hamro uh, capital baraune ma hai na yeah and it wasn't trying to also push push but it also had got hints from standard chartered ki if this is the case we might just exit bandra to your isa ka thyo you know So that's when he mentioned that you know most of the company uh, uh, most of the countries uh, wherein um, Standard Chartered has worked in is actually not doing very well. Mm-hmm. Right? Africa go there it home or ma it was not doing very well. It was yeah. pulling out of a certain country. Yeah. 2022 23 countries but nikali sa kya thi. So we had that. So that's the kind of also knowledge one puts in. So tyo pani अब ड्यू डिलिजेंस के काम भन्न पे हाई तो कंपनी को बिहाइंड को कुरा पढ़ने समथिंग दैट्स नट इवन इन पेपर यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड रीड इन बिटवीन द लाइन इफ यू इन्वेस्टिंग यू हैव टू डेफिनेटली डेवलप दैट इन यू हाई सो दैट्स वन हैबिट ही इंस्टल्ड इन मी एंड दैट्स वेन ही मेड मी अंडरस्टैंड कि इट माइट बी अ ब्लू चिप कंपनी बट इट इज नॉट प्रोग्रेसिव एनी मोर हेन्स यू नो सो यू लुक फॉर प्लेस वेर इफ द इफ द ग्रोथ इज स्टॉलिंग यूर नॉट Yeah. You, sh- you, yeah. Sh- you should look at it with yeah. a very cautious lens. Yes. So it's definitely on the um, say red sell out zone type ko hamro parameters se hami hear some say. Um one way another to look at it is we also try and talk about opportunities like I'll give you two examples with this. This is again microfinance. Yeah. कोविड को टाइम में वी न्यू माइक्रोफाइनेंसेस वर आल्सो डूइंग वेल दैट वी लाइक सब पहले राम रे गोरा थियो है ना? तर देर वॉज दिस न्यूज ऑन न्यूर्ज एन ओथान एनी वील कि बेला बिकज अफ सर्टन रिजन रिजन दे हेड प्रोविजन प्लस दे कुड नट रिच द सर्टन एरियाज एंड दे कुड नट कलेक्ट द इन्वेस्ट एंड स्टफ है सो तेरे मार्केट प्राइस घटा थे अलमोस्ट सात सौ में आईपुगि सकता थे एंड दैट्स वेन आई वॉज लाइक मे बी वी शुड एक्जिट द स्टॉक वॉज जेनरली हाउ यू नो पीपल थिंक एंड आई वुड थिंक एज वेल whereas contradictory to that my father was next to me saying ki no it's a time to pick it up yes pick it up pick whatever you get just in that um, zone dui din tin din khosyo dui tin din ma dimi alikati lots wise uthao well like this is one stock i would like in my portfolio i want to add on more correct and warren buffett rightly says this eh sometimes when you don't have new opportunities presenting to you when you don't find other business opportunities it might just be a good idea adding on to your own existing good um, companies companies right yes. so that's when he implied no this will give us a return probably from um, a level that we could not understand Correct. at back then tedi bela to sat se ko price ma tyo tyo pani covid ko time was probably someone would be very negative yeah. on right because there was three four negative news is going on Correct. simultaneously and that happened and this was you regarding following here it obviously did exceedingly well correct so that's how one also looks at an opportunity okay that's one thing second thing i was also so with the same same mind uh, mind frame same um, thought process yeah. right? same schooling early 2 3 weeks back so rashtra bank le alikati nikalnu bhayo hamro microfinance ko ma i was somewhere hinting on so the intuition the conviction yeah. that also comes in when you're already in the market reading so much um is also because when they gave in the news the celestial thing that here 20% percent banda bisi dinu paundaina bhanera jun provisioning garnu parcha bhanera yo pali 15% percent dinu bhayo na yes um while they garnu parne kaam garnu bhayo nagarai hoi na long term investment ko lagi it's actually a very good yeah. step towards it strengthens that. the capital yes. um it's actually giving you a very nice opportunity there but people in the market did not understand that mm. and people will obviously react to whatever comes in like Correct. the news however it came in yeah. yes the news however it was presented was not in a very positive light it could have been done better mm. but then the news actually was not that very bad either yeah. so that's there you know the business eventually puts sir correct 
एंड हाउ आई रिलेटेड दिस अन पेपर वर्स मैं टेक्निकली हे कि आई थिंक सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट्स को खसा थे क्यारे मार्केट है सिक्सटी सिक्स सिक्सटी सेवेन पॉइंट्स ये रफली खसा थे तो हेद्दे तैंर इफ यू सी टेक्निकल्स में हाई इफ यू गो बैक एंड सी तो दिन को जो प्राइस खसा र एवरी इंडिविजुअल से होलसेल माइक्रो फाइनेंस नेशनल माइक्रो फाइनेंस साना किसान बनाऊ एनयूबीएल बनाऊ सीबीबीएल बनाऊ स्वावलंबन बनाऊ आरएमडीसी बनाऊ है सब को वॉल्यूम वाज़ द हाईएस्ट इन द होल सिक्स मंथ्स सो पीपल एक्चुअली बॉट इन दे नेवर सेड एनीथिंग ऑन इट बट दे एक्चुअली बॉट इन एंड लुक एट व्हाट हैपन द नेक्स्ट डे एट ऑल रिवर्सल आए अलग नाउ इट्स इन अ स्टेबल सपोर्ट पॉइंट and obviously it's giving you a good return Correct. 20 25% joile pani dincha nadine hoina yo pali aba next year 15% hola that's different hai tara having said that it also grows um, vertically and horizontally Correct. the prices as well as um, whatever dividends you're getting Correct. so hence that's the way also one should be um, tapping on to get to your thought process that schooling should be that as well Correct. so basically, basically your idea generation is firstly you have an excel where you have certain filters yeah, and absolutely. parameters absolutely. yeah that's one place your second place is again you're looking out for these news that can have short term impact on prices mm-hmm. but which could be a long term good buy opportunities mm-hmm. and nubl and the recent microfinance news that's how you like to put it do you also generate ideas from the market like when you interact with the peers this to pani huncha yes um there are certain companies like uh oil and uh, five years back yeah when nibl po and nibl was there in the market do they trade by ratio simultaneously yes. right? so one of my mentors yeah. um, he actually approached me saying ki mota nibl i was looking on to nibl they yeah. i think 12 15% return jaile ban din thyo nibl ko standard e tei thyo 12 15% 20% was the maximum you know tei din thyo so for me it was a good blue chip company honestly tei thi bela tei thi bela merger ma gathena 5 7 years back i know Um, what he mentioned to me was, why would you buy NIB when you can get NIB PO at a lesser price for the same thing? Yeah. So there was a solid rupee ko gap. Yeah. Hundred rupees ko gap the okay in both the pricing. Correct. Whereas its um, liquidity, everything was the same. It's both listed in the NEPSE market. Correct. It was obviously <coughs> a flaw. Right? Correct. So that happened. So that's one an- another opportunity. Oh. wherein you actually um, investing 100 rupees less and get the same getting the same exactly yeah. so how you generate these ideas is by interacting with few of these mentors in the market yes. that you have yes. and it's very disruptive it can be from brokers to um, other mentors to investors yeah. to investment circles sometimes it can also be uh, people who trade on a daily basis so even they can sometimes give yeah. you ideas they can give you hints and ideas and uh, scripts correct. that you've never thought on correct so that can happen correct so, so y- you generate these ideas right any from different sources you know now how do you go about doing a more in depth research you know when if you obviously if you're looking to trade you're looking at these charts and it might take a few days right So when you're looking to invest for let's say three years, five years, seven years time horizon, what's your investment process? Ideas the I O, na basic filters are clear for you. After that, what do you do for a little bit of interest? I think one of them you've already mentioned before, where you said that more extra management quality. Say Dude I try to evaluate. Yeah, that's quality. that's one part of due diligence. Yeah. What else do you do apart from that? Um, I look at the market pricing. Then again, I go back to the market. So I go back to where I came from. Correct. I revisit the places, right? Yeah. So current market pricing, the intrinsic value must have price action case at this go. So I apply um, both the indicators in that, yeah. right? And then I look at the low highs, fifty-two weeks lows, fifty-two weeks highs. To some point, I understand that. Yes. What I also want to say is, there are certain companies who make their um, list of shareholders public. Okay. Right? Yes. There are some very limited, too many hand handful. Yes. Hand ma gone like companies or so. Yeah. Not all of them. Yeah. I don't know why it's not there. It should have been there. Yeah. It's a transparent process. Right? Correct. So I try and understand who are the major holders for yeah. this. Right. Where it can be manipulated from. These are things that one needs to do when you're investing for a very long period of yes. time. Right. Um. You might have to realign strategies later on. Yes. That's there. Yep. revisiting the stock after you've invested it something we do um, post the process yes. but i also have a look at the major holdings kun broker but awarely dhere ugar rakhnu bhasa these are things one needs to do so trade floor analysis pani huncha mero tya that's that's the third thing right great yes the fourth thing is 
if i am in contact with one of the brokers if they know more on more on it yeah. like wire sing holdings her wire ko aur client sing holdings only i try and understand their viewpoint nice so you is know, this something that you've missed exactly. that they know or, exactly yeah. um apart from that so because i also try and understand our political situation in nepal unfortunately has a very high impact on the share market yeah um it's also probably to do with the regulations eh plus a lot of um, liquidity crisis a lot of macroeconomic other factors yes. eh so that has an impact on the market so i try and understand where we are at at that cycle yes. macro factors are good say cycle ma ami kota tira chau liquidity crunch ko time hogi hai ya liquidity overflow bhaira ko time hogi so the overflow ko time hobani obviously it's not a time to invest yeah. i need to hold on i need to hold my horses i will obviously be eyeing on that company yeah but at a better time Correct. so these are the things external things i try and put on Correct. so whenever you're thinking on these lines you already actually have a conviction and an answer so you you start to understand that yeah. mind frame in terms of yeah. is this a good company and stuff so whether to get into it next week or 3 months or 6 months i will Correct. probably have so it's a lot of combination of uh, i would say your internal research mm-hmm. right of that you go outside to the market try mm-hmm. to get people's point of view as well you're also analyzing uh, broker data shareholder yes. data yeah. who's buying it why are they buying it you try to understand that and obviously you top it up with a macro to understand kun yeah. yeah. point ma kasari yeah. enter garni yeah. what's the market going to look yeah. like okay great so tell me an example of i don't know one of your the companies that you picked up you know which was a successful investment uh okay in terms of investing yeah So there was Himalayan distillery. I mean obviously one yeah. of them was NIBPO where yeah. you said NIBPO you know, yeah. was another. I mean that was a good arbitrage play yeah. no you yeah. were you saying it, it was very good so yeah, because like, and most people would not use that common sense yeah. and it was equally tradable exactly. in the market and it's not basic a basic common sense of it yeah it's not even you know yeah. out of the blue or book may not work which is when you know yeah so you're paying a difference of 100 rupees yeah. but you're getting yeah. the same dividend yeah. yield and yeah. no? so it was just a no brainer it was a no brainer at all correct and whether even if it was a no brainer people did not actually you know see that opportunity coming this actually happened with i think uh, with nobel bank as well pehla nobel nobel ko pio yeah yeah nobel or nobel pio thi and oily that's been converted yeah. into into nobel itself nobel yeah. itself you know nib pio ko yeah. for some reason they still haven't converted yeah. it so nobel pio or usko difference at one point of time it used to be 30 or 40% oh, you know wow. this percent pa- percent oh, the wow. difference between nobel pio or nobel you know Over a period of time, that kept narrowing down, kept narrowing down. It, last minute was down to ten percent, okay, seven eight percent, and then it got converted to noble now. Okay. At the moment, NIB and IBPO is ten uh, percent. Close to ten percent. Ten percent. Correct. Yeah. This also used to be really yeah. wide, okay. Na? But I don't know NIB about NIB. Let me sometime conversion, time time conversion got yeah. solved, you know. Yeah. So I think that that was a very obvious arbitrage mm-hmm. kind of an opportunity. Mm-hmm. You're mentioning about HDL as well. So with Himalayan industry, what happened was this was in back in two thousand eighteen. Yeah. Right. Okay? um so one of my mentors one of the sources the yep. brokers he got in contact i was in constant contact i was very active in the market yes. back then he mentioned to me that you know something on to do with the lines of operation side yeah again so this came to me from the operation side it wasn't anything to do with the market correct um operation side matter he mentioned ki something on um, golden oak 10 lakh case ki 8 lakh case bhi kya the hone na i came back home i didn't do much on it I spoke to my father and he he mentioned obviously um, it had been communicated to the father as well while yeah. he gone about it and he sat me down and he said how you do the mathematics is go on to the Himalayan distillery website yeah. I actually did this eh? this is a physical verification mentally you been gorsa wonder people should know yeah. this is how uh, what an extent of um, uh, research, research you should be doing correct right? yeah So golden oak ko case ko casket ko price nikala bhanu bhayo and I gave him the prices the listing e huncha unir ko website ma and we calculated physical at like casket bhane ko eti ho bhanera e eti ek arba kamauna lasa bhane waar ko eps to eti hunu parcha basic maths yeah there's nothing no brainer one has thene ho probably half an hour ko kaam hola haina mathematics is what you need to use yeah haina? basic mathematics basic math class 5 mathematics exactly tyo goryo and i said oh wow I did not see that coming. Yeah. Ani oil ko kati paila ko EPS kati the oil ko pricing kati sa ba niya ra consideration again going yeah. back to the process, you know. Number two ra number three ma pugyo. Number two, uh, how we know 
is one of the management was very positive that time yeah oily pani positive hun cha they have been very progressive right now uh one's growth strategy pani tyo hisab le align bhai rako thyo correct golden oak pachi pani one's dui tin ora market ma naya liquors haru le raune plan thyo okay so it was already on process it was being distilled yeah. it was being tested tyo thyo plus even golden oak i think market le sakya you know they were exactly. a sought after yeah. product w- yeah. where there wasn't enough supply yeah. yes so that happened and we um then got the verification from the brokers and ki okay this is being accumulated as well you know oh, nice. your market my sari sari bhaira cha bhanne euta news aai sake pachi chai because at that point of time uh floor sheet ta tabai ko live herna milthyo correct hai right? so we could understand so we started picking up the stock okay um i initially picked up the stock when it was roughly around 1680 1680 ko range ma thyo and then i took took in the first dividend Right, the dividend um, price. adjustment price was twelve sixty, twelve thirty. Yeah, that range, you know. The first year, only. But I still did not have that um, understanding that maybe you two, three years ago. Correct. Then there will be definitely uh, every company has a saturation point. Correct. This could kind of case and hunsa. We'll revisit the strategy back then, money. So second, third year down the line, someone in the board mentioned to us that you know um, it was not an inside information, but yeah. they are also looking to. approaching different companies justly nepal ma manufacturing garna sakos bhanne indian companies haru bhane ke so that was their approach so it was a very growth um, oriented approach right Correct, yeah. so they were looking into aggressive growth in that manner yeah fair labor ro distillery ko charges are very low raise india banda okay so that happened and that's how i got on to So, okay holding mm-hmm. the company maybe not for 5 years maybe for 7 years pandra yeah. 2017 but so have you exited butter. the stock till now or do you continue partially. partially partially so at what price did you probably exit it so the partial exit so uh, my partial exit was just last december okay last december in terms of family only last december why it was uh, that was because we found a better um stock to swap to got it right? yes yeah we wanted to have the 60% dividend you know yeah. so what we best managed out of this was we had a better stock to swap to correct so it was one of the microfinances again you know okay so that's how it happened got it so that's what we did so okay. with himal industry um it has been our um, go to stock in our family got it for the past few yeah. years i think it's been a years. good investment yes. for you right so again like everyone likes to talk about the good winners that you've had and stuff you know tell us because like i think the losers are more relatable to people Absolutely. okay you know so i'm an audience like and it's more relative relatable so can you tell us about a uh, investment that you made based on some kind of thinking you know any that actually didn't make you money or you lost money and your flaws are kind of in terms of your thinking thyo yeah and i see yeah oh as if you had mentioned yeah So tell us how tell us how you were thinking about Whenever it and what changed. Whenever someone talks about a mistake and then a learning, it's only an analysis <laughs> from you, all over, like all over from top to bottom. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, so the Nepal same, Reinsurance Company. Yeah, yeah. Nepal Reinsurance Company. So it's only one of a kind. Yes. Um. For people who do not know what it does, I know. Yes. So reinsurance Nepal ma te divela oil ban is hai na te divela ban thiye na hai na. Yeah. So that exactly this line. त्यति बेला पनि थिएन मोनोपोली छ हैन अरु कुनै आयो भने इट हैज टु ओबियसली कम्पीट इट विल एक्सेल भन्ने एउटा जुन सोचाइ थियो दैट इज एक्ज्याक्टली व्हाट आई यूज्ड एन्ड इट वेंट अगेंस्ट मी या सो बेसिक पैरामीटर रे रङ थियो त्यहाँ हैन या समटाइम्स नॉट एभ्री सो दिस इज एक्ज्याक्टली व्हाट आई मेंट व्हेन आई सेड इट हैज टु बी एन एक्लेक्टिक मिक्स अफ filters and parameters you look at depending on the company operations correct it cannot be just simply him and distillery bani operations herera la udle aba exceed garcha eure mathe distillery ho bhanera it cannot be the same with every company or every stock you correct. pick up on hai yep tyo ba with uh, nric teti bela chai um, it was right before so amro himalayan reinsurance le amro uh, approach garya thyo yeah. you know ki aba we want to go into an ipo yo the one rock correct so that's exactly when people started thinking on the lines ki just the ntc re and and sell ko kura ma pani hai the comparison ko kura ma price ko sari barne usko market capitalization yo hunu parne ho from the current holdings correct to hisab le we started like talking yeah and obviously it gives you a trigger it did give me a trigger as well and i see ma say thinking ki probably himalayan reinsurance it will be like aggressively yeah. aunalai chahi rahe the market ma yeah. it was almost like two three months mai ipo aunsa type of oil ko tiyo ta so dita tinta insurance yeah. reinsurance yeah 
um in in the market yeah how many are in the pipeline yeah list to nric ma so pipeline ta aile pani formally ta eudai ma to himalayan ri ani annapurna haru annapurna haru not yet there yeah it's not avedana di sakya chaina so if you look at nepse neva sorry dito patra ko hamro website yeah ipo ko avedan ko pipeline ma You'll actually no, 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 not, not Avedan. I'm talking about the general business of okay. free insurance. Okay, business so of free insurance. These are already established yeah, companies, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anapurna is there. So yeah. Himalayan reinsurance is there. Anapurna is there. And I think one more, but I am not very aware of it. Right? Okay. So it's not probably in so my So first of all, you have to say that the market is a monopoly. Suddenly, based on that, you thought that there was a potential that for this company. That was there. Plus, in the reinsurance case, what do you think about it? Because reinsurance is not in the same way. Yeah. Uh, ma, you need more capitalization than a normal reinsur- insurance company Correct. right because you're actually insuring the insured yes so hence you have to have more um, leeway and leverage to it so tyo garda kheri we understood that ki waar ko pani capitalization even if it's a, actually a very large cap company yeah tyo ajai pani barne wala cha bhanne euta indication pani hamle market ma parda pardai pai sakya plus in order to compete with himalayan and um, few others yeah. it had to like grow in structure Correct. so tyo thought process ma we started picking up the stock yeah. thankfully it was not um, very high in numbers yeah i know so tyo garda kheri chai we did not realize we were being also played with the market ko timing yeah Do you say I rushed into it? Mm-hmm. I didn't do like enough study in that. Okay. So market timings or something. I mean, do here ne. Um, I had to like forbid the step and just yes. sweep on to like going. I have to buy tomorrow. Correct. Time. Got yes. it. And this was also two of my flaws in this was I did not look at the business cycle, my trade cycle, my quota parties who under. Correct. I mean, bull ko almost peak mouth hai, okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. So it was roughly twenty seven hundred, twenty eight hundred. Correct. Right. I entered. I made a profit out of it and didn't sell it. Mm, got it. Didn't sell it at all, so it reached um, 1960, 1980. Ma pani price pugi sog the heri pani. I still had. Uh, you still were thinking like, positive about it. Exactly, and my my target was you to buy seven ni puksa hola, na. That's not a time for me to exit. Correct. I'll come back to it, revisit it. One ne sabli. I wanted to keep it. So yeah, that happened. Aba. So what I've done with it is, fifty uh, percent. I sold, sold it. it yeah. I know. Tar, it was on a very minimal loss. Stop loss. When we were at this much, eh? Yeah. It wasn't ten percent. It was five percent. Yeah. I'll be on, blunt, honest, hey. Kina vani the whole gane usme thi na. Yeah. So pricing here, the hari fundamentally ta here ne, na fundamentally mere error boy se kya thiyo. Technically ta the pricing the price must stable hone thi na. Dekhen dekhi ne ne thi na. Got it. So I entered it roughly around eighteen hundred, eighteen twenty ko stock utha ko mile. Nineteen hundred fifty eighty, I didn't sell it. Got it. I was still expecting it to go up, hey na. Go up the thick ones, huh? I wanted a good return from it. Yeah. Obviously, over the it's not even possible to reach that range at the moment, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, fifty percent of it, it's sold. Got it. So when you, uh, I think so that's one of the mistakes, and you know? so when you're f- f- constructing a portfolio, and how many companies do you generally have in your portfolio at any point of time? So I have two answers for that. Right? Yeah. Um, how I would like to put it as is personally for me. Mm. I would want to describe myself as 60% of a trader, 40% of an investor. Okay. So my companies can vary, and I have two different accounts so Got that it. I don't so, get confused. Yeah. So for investing side, how many? Like because trading yes. can be very. Investing rare. for me roughly is six seven. Okay. Not so much. that's fairly personally, very personally. So that's a very fairly concentrated portfolio very, with very, good conviction. Yeah, very good conviction, and I wouldn't want to revisit it like every year type company. It's I'm sure of that stock money example, for two three years. Got it. Right? About trading, you can exactly. just pick up something today and sell it off tomorrow. So, so I don't do that either. I, I mean, so weekly trading money. I don't believe in weekly trading. Okay. Right. Also because um, me dalle mala poyla alil bana theke trading bani ko tere just so thing ya broker like come on a dini matre ho you know commissions. Yeah. Again, I know. The more you trade, the more money exactly. they make. Exactly. So that's what happened, and then that didn't make sense to me initially. Now it makes sense to me, right? So I wouldn't go into rash trading. Yeah. So I could go into swing trading, but I would oily upon in Nepal co market ma swing trading is happening in monthly basis. Got it. Oily at the moment we are at that weekly wala suru baas hai na. I'm still coming back to that, you know. So that's there. Um, having to say that, uh, that's my personal front. On a family front. My father, who has um, handed this business down, um, has roughly around thirty odd stocks. Okay, so I think neither is it very concentrated nor is it very diversified. Thirty odd stocks for 
say the first and second class of investments so say five years seven years and yeah. then two three years ago yeah. you know? and then there are ek dui barsa ko jun seasonal investing yeah. you know tesko lagi chai maybe say 15 more stocks okay so that's the numbers we're looking at okay so 30 to 45 yeah. right so that's a fairly diversified yeah. number yeah. so okay got it okay so i think another question that i really want to discuss with you is buying to garna ne garo ne huncha na how do you decide selling right so when do you decide to sell and what factors trigger that selling okay i personally uh with selling one thing i can do is sell okay i know the timing i don't know why so how do you go about it like what is it like so i also what i factor in is nepsico to index uh uh-huh. the fibonacci i look at the fibonacci numbers okay it really works for me that okay. one thing really works for me so if it's in resistance or support basically same thing with the indices suppose um say commercial bank ko kunai commercial bank er desu mo haina commercial bank ko ne tesko support kata sa tesko indi- um, resistance kata sa dui ta herai hai two things it will actually already give you a story in itself yeah. that's one thing so what i meant when i said entry to exit fundamental ko pani mo esari garchu is because so that i can make most of that opportunity in that, that price range correct that's one thing um two three days ko chai mo say one week e bhanam na haina tesari bhanda heri chai i look at the price swing range of that particular stock yeah so whenever i say ki lo i've had enough dividends haina yeah. ab i want to swap a company i will look at the price range of that company yeah so two three days dekhi ya one yeah. week dekhi kun range ma yo trade bhayira cha hai and where is it at yeah so is it at the 52 weeks lower end fundamentally here that carry you know 52 weeks higher end zone the 52 high low one they have said even that says a story that has a story to tell as well yeah. so that's one thing i look at the second is the indices the amro index go story so these are the things that really help me third thing is sometimes it might be like you know a very good monetary policy has come mm. macro factor right yeah. hey? to ako cha bhane i have to be considerate yeah. it might actually just be ki to resistance e torera mathi jane pani huna sakcha correct so that that so was macros. one opportunity so macro. one is technical and yeah. another is macros yeah correct so that uh, technical fundamental ko bit ma chai where is the company at right now oh got it hai so eps ekdamai ramro kama cha ki you never know yes. hai na so tyo eura ho bhane chai i'll look at it so oily for example nic ko 3 years dekhi dya chai na yeah hai aba 3 years dekhi dya thena but now i am still at a profit mo aile exit garnu bhanda cha ramro i wait for the upcoming because eps pani ramro cha haina yo pali they are mandatory to give in a dividend haina so tyo lera gako better ni ta so that is the sort of reasoning one has to use okay so you basically using a combination of technical mm-hmm. again macros and even company factors yeah. in terms of when you want to exit yeah. it yeah right great okay all right so what does a regular day look like <laughs> green and red yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i would like to say it actually starts with um, obviously me and my father discussing again yeah morning e pani hamro yesteri nai huncha nice yeah so he actually is a person who lists down everything to do in a day got it on a daily basis that's, he lives by it that's a great thing yeah it's a great thing i would like to take that down yes. you know I'm still trying to um some days I pass some days I fail. Good habits are very difficult to pick up, you know. Absolutely. It's yeah. not and I don't know why with this particular one it's not even 21 days that's working for me. Correct, yeah. It's not. It's clearly not. <laughs> so I try and pick up um a few to-do lists. Yeah. Your sapeta payalu, you know. I try and sit 11 to 12 time in the first hours I want to Yeah. I want to make sure I am in the market. Yes. Even if I'm doing nothing that day, yes. I just want to have a look at that market. Yeah. So sitting there patient with patience, idly observing the market gives you such an insight. Okay. That's where I learn my trades from. Great. So that's where I pick up my t- stocks from, trading stocks. Yeah. Trading in saying saying. Trading in. stocks, right? That's exactly where I pick up my Got stocks it. from. So there is so I'll go back to my one of my success stories. That's how I picked up DDBL. Okay. Deprox. Deprox club it. I played on that stock four times. Yeah. Four times and I've made immense amount of um returns and yeah, returns out of it. Okay. So that is one stock I learned is because it was constantly being um because of the time from that correct. number, you know. 
सो द सर्टन पीरियड अफ नंबर फिफ्टी टू विक्स को ठेक्क मिल रहा थे टेक्निकल भी मिल रहा थे फंडामेंटल भी मिल रहा थे इट हेड एलाइंड ऑन टू दैट यू नो एंड प्लस मार्केट भी पिकअप करने टाइम थी ओके प्री बोल में हम एंटर कर सकता थे सो दैट्स एक्जैक्टली वेन स्टक स्टार्ट स्पीकिंग टू यू इज एक्जैक्टली वट आई से सो दैट्स वट आई डू फर्स्ट एंड फर्स्ट आर इज फाइन सेकेंड आर आई ट्राई एंड कीप इन द मीटिंग्स और वट एवर डिस्कशन्स और वट एवर रिसर्च इज आई नीड टू डू दैट्स गुड फर दैट फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड आर ये थर्ड आर अगेन द लास्ट आर आई वॉन्ट टू बी इन द मार्केट ओके आई वॉन्ट सी द ओपनिंग एंड द एंडिंग ऑफ द मार्केट बेसिकली सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट हाउ आई वॉन्ट टू ऑल्सो डू अबाउट फर द नेक्स्ट डे इज तो बंद भैस दिस इज वन थिंग माई फादर स्टॉट मी is uh given a responsibility to me plus it's also a learning right? i'll take that as a learning yes he wants me to do an accounting every day of everything so even if it's just the same copy paste right yes. i just need to do it physically it's a arco feri another great habit another great habit and it just teaches me so much of investing myself you know yeah. investing my own time my energy into those numbers that it actually teaches you a lot of patience Got a it. lot of patience yeah so it's actually building a lot of in- things inside you yeah. you don't even know about it correct so over the period of time you learn and understand it now i learn and understand it yeah. earlier i didn't so that's one thing the second thing is um i try and also give him an insight because he tries and asks me technical questions yeah kitimo technical ko hisab le jaye How does the market look like next day? What's going on? You say, "I'm a conversation on side." This is again at the end of the day. Yeah, so end of the day, sort of closing, sort of uh, yes. thing. And what I do on is I look at the charts. Yeah. That's the only time one day, um, one minute of the day probably I look at the charts and tell him that maybe this looks like that. Yeah. Seventy percent of the time it obviously works. Yeah. Because it's very easy to say that next day is to positive one point, positive one point is stones, and negative one point is stones. Yeah. So those are both um, things yeah. we talk on, you know. And then we plan on to next day. Okay, yeah. positive one point, I am yoga room. Negative one point, I am yoga room. And this is one homework people don't do <laughs> after the market. Right? Yeah. They go back enjoy that as a lost boy, do he buy a bosson, or you know, social media has taken up so much of time. That's yeah. there. The last thing I want to, I am trying to do. Um, yeah. Thanks to my friend Rashagni, she's tried instilling that habit in me of reading. Yeah. Oh. Um, now I want to get back to it. Great. Is something I want to do is um, continue and get back to my reading. Reading. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah. So that's how I go about it. Great. So that's a great day to have, right? So we're nearing the end of the podcast, right? Mm-hmm. So what I really want to understand is, for, from a young generation perspective, like us, right? What needs to change? What are the changes that you want to see in Nepal go stock market? And uh, any Ami aru just to younger people alle. Your market la improve garna ko lagi. Ab regulator le apna garni thau maza chade chage. So market ma chay yota kya change unu parsa? Any Ami just to younger generation le chay kya role play garna parsa? Your change facilitate garna. That's what I want to understand. Um. Okay. So this is where I'll flub in the whole idea. Yes. Uh. So a podcast like this, yeah, and unfiltered, really more on the factual, more on the literate side, literary side, and yeah. your side has to come out in the market, yeah, so that the noises settle down, yeah. So there are a lot of noise in the market, yeah. right? There are a lot of manipulations X Y Z in the market. Yes, our generation, what we can do is we can step up, and we can actually start. Giving out these sort of insights of the market. Yeah. There's actually a value-added side. Mm. There's actually a fundamental side to it. Yeah. We are more than weighted people, yeah. right? And that weight, and our knowledge, and our supply chains are really. We can actually overshadow the lighter side. Okay. So the lighter side obviously can be manipulated and um, taken on to as advantage. Right? Personal yeah. inflicts. Or imagine if they're on side. Yeah. So we need to understand that. Maybe yeah, we are extending ourselves a bit of our energy yeah. on um, giving up a financial literacy class. Yeah, different ways, but a methods, oh. but a podcast, but on a soxa, articles, but on a soxa. You know, that we also have to have that resilience in us that every time it hits us, we still have to come back stronger. Yeah, you know, we are doing it. That yeah. it cannot have a progressive. Um, so it, it might not have a progressive. Result as a goboli. Also, that over the period of time, it yeah. will have a very long-lasting effect. That's yeah. one thing we young generation should do. Right? In terms of increasing terms of educational increasing, awareness yeah. and the good that's, market practices. That's ma. one. Yeah. The second thing is, 
we probably might also need to bring in alikati technological disruptions so something like thinking on the lines of just the e seva josari ai yeah nepal ma we hadn't thought of e seva until late yeah. now it's ghar ghar ko kahani ne banam every phone has that right? correct this the second thing would probably be something like uh, brokerage kokura right so online brokerage kokura i know so app based you pani auna sakyo right something like even um, smart wealth pro right yeah. this needs to come up yes and we probably might not have returns every year first Absolutely. two three five years yeah. we will probably hit, even hit the ground right? yes that we need to be consistent so we can't give up we need to innovate more in terms of innovation and market digi- digitalization ma- better products are absolutely ours. the future correct so that's one probably area we could think on correct and not just this even in terms of just the insurance ko lagi pani hai insurance ko business haru pani hamle alikati u garna ko lagi hai na kese there may be different yeah. on the sector i think m- what i would generally like is more people from our generation right i think they need to partner with somebody like you like you know collaborate with somebody probably, like you probably. and interact more with regulator you know what if the regulators like you've mentioned you know if the regulator nay they open to it saying that la aunu na ta hamle conversation garnu hamle ki improve garnu parcha bhanne if that's the mindset and that's the objective i think uh, you know as younger generation hami collaborate garera without any interest or objective just trying to help improve the overall mm-hmm. stock market ke scenario i think you say it would be very it beneficial would be, it would be very beneficial in fact if um there are any um, people oh, already doing a research on certain like um, stock market topic or oh, capital market topic or yeah anything related to expanding the market correct you probably just need to knock the doors yeah. of tito patra that's it okay so for you, you can have a collaborative approach that they are more than open to it okay, yes hi right? so while like any existing kunai frameworks how bani they would probably be more happier yeah. um doing that than wasting another 2 3 years finding up more on researching more on that topic right Correct. so that would be um beneficial for both sides i win win situation for both Absolutely. so that's how i think we should also have an approach ki you know they not on approachable sometimes not just the patra or even um amro nepse related amro stakeholders or something or stakeholders or government yeah. stakeholders we probably might have a cold feet um, approaching them you know yeah. so if we keep it keep up and consistent effort and if we actually have something on value yeah i don't think they would you know Correct. say no to it directly yeah. right there might be various approaches you might want to use it's nepal yeah. you know toro you should try and do that at least okay so what are the two areas finally that you want to see like two points but what are the two areas that you want to see improve improving over the next 2 to 3 years like what should sebon work on uh that that needs to improve immediately about i think digitization they would apply security digitalization one by security no so second is code of conduct and a lot okay. of uh, institutionalization more on that so regulations in place um. i would say that policy making in place um. for different things to be actually that's about. a very smart answer you know your right or your strength and power and back everything just falls in exactly. place exactly and this is one thing homal sir taught me <laughs> he actually said that policy ne chaina bhane hami digitalization le are ke garne hai correct so jun amro total ko halat bhayo hai na we don't want that yes. we have to be smart in terms of laying the policy policy ne le rai sake pachi there will be advancements itself So yep. the first seed matter I'm not acting here. Baki ko sabey kama fe onsa. Yeah. That's what he mentions, and that's how um, I came about this. You know, idea of okay, the policy is where we need to hit and lobby on. Correct. That's exactly where we need to be focusing on. You know, and if that turns out exactly. to be right, everything else just falls into exactly. its right place. So I think one more I would want to add is um, lately in one of my trips, yeah. I met a person in India who mentioned to me that he was researching. So he was trying to copy and paste the American side of economics mm. to India. Yeah. Junti to sorry, Sebi le aile gorio institutionalization. NISM one is an institute kholio, yeah. na. He was trying to bring that from America to India. Yeah. And he wor- started working on it 17 years ago in yeah. India. Yeah. Hi. So we might want to work on something like that. Yeah. So we might want to research. He's waited 17 years. He's researched on to 17 years. Correct. And now it's happened. Oh. Right. So it might. So as uh, Warren Buffett rightly says, it it might not just be 
every single um, investment, whether it be energy, whether it be knowledge, whether it be uh, oh, money yeah. that, that you've worked on works out. Yeah. There could be one and the rest of it would fail yeah. and you would still do wonders. Yeah. It would still land you and cover up for the rest of the losses. You know? yeah. So that's one thing I would want to put on as well. So okay. we might be wanting to be open to a lot of other areas, yeah. like very disruptive energies, um, knowledges, institutions yeah. that we might want to bring into Nepal. Right? In the Nepali version, yeah. we could do that. Got so yeah, that's probably all I want to say. Okay, great. Okay, so we've neared the end of the podcast. And thank you so much for coming here today, giving us your time and, you know, like just helping our viewers understand how things worked out for you what your journey has been and what they can learn from it. I think it's a tremendous learning opportunity for viewers. Thank you so much, Harpan. It was really an humbling opportunity for me too as well. Yeah. Wishing you the best of everything else going forward. And uh, thank you so much for being here thank today. You. All right.